Hello, future friends. Thank you for joining our show. We are Mistakes Being Made, a live play Dungeons & Dragons show from Portland, Oregon. Uh, we are back live with the main story tonight, so we are caught up. Uh, we have taken care of Vaziago's side quest. Um, if you're a new uh, viewer to our show, um, you can check out all of our previous episodes on Twitch or on our YouTube channel. If you're looking for a way to interact with us, um, all of our social media links are in the description of each show after it goes up. Um, and if you'd like to check out our Twitter page, MBM RPG, the pinned tweet has all of our social media links as well. Um, we would like to thank the following people uh, tonight for their uh, help in making the show better. Um, and I want to send an apology out to one of our... Um, one of our viewers who sent us some cool stuff and I forgot to talk about it on the start of last week's show. So thank you to Method Man who painted us a super awesome uh, dire bear and also an eagle. Um, I do not have the eagle with us tonight because it has been given to Frank, our wayward druid. And uh, thank you, Method Man. We really do appreciate it. It is our first fan art and it is awesome. Um, I will be using the Dire Bear when I go to L.A. for sure. Um, also, thank you to uh, Action Shield for your amazing combat risers. Thank you to Dwarven Forge for your awesome dungeon terrain. And thank you to Sirenscape for your incredible soundscapes. We will definitely be using them tonight. Um, so, with that, we have a new player in our midst. Uh, everybody meet Eric. Eric is a player who is joining us uh, to fill in for several people who haven't been able to make it on a regular basis. Um, and he will be playing who tonight? Uh, I am, my character's name is uh, Elray Doran. He's a rogue elf. Um, it's going to be fun. <laughs> All right. And uh, he will be getting into the story a little bit later. Um, there is a natural entrance for him to get into the story. Uh, with that, let's meet the other players. Um, Mike, who are you playing tonight? I am playing Sirk, the half-orc barbarian, current champion of uh, Ruined Eyes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Aaron? Uh, I am playing, uh, as always, Visago Free, the ever-trustworthy tiefling bard. Uh, you know, Lies are not a thing I know of. That's right. And? Thanks. My name is Howard. <laughs> 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 and I'm playing Sarsarel, the half elven cleric of Umberly and her chosen champion, obviously. Umberly the sea bitch. Uh, whoa, that is disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I'm pretty sure that's so. That's on the wiki. Yeah. I'm gonna do a, a little bit more of a recap because we've got somebody new that's joining us, and I don't, I don't want to put Eric on the spot. It's also Maybe. been a bit since we've gone to the current timeline. Maybe he Makes hasn't sense. watched every single episode. I don't know. So I sent you a reading list. Uh, we, I hope. <laughs> we started out with our heroes during the festival of surf. Uh, they started making a name for themselves on the island of Paldir. Um, and the Festival of Surf was interrupted by goblins who um, had raided the uh, local dwarven brewery slash citadel. Um, and so the, the party was sent to um, investigate. Um, they, they did battle with several hobgoblins, took out a uh, hobgoblin leader by the name of Viwook, and also got a little glint at what was happening behind the scenes when they um, looked in on Viwook um, and a certain red dragonborn paladin uh, by the name of Archon. Um, when looking through Viwook's things, they found some hints at other possible treasure locations. Um, one of them was the island of Larath, where they headed to next. Uh, they took a ship by the name of the Tempest Temptress to the island of Larath. Um, and here they found a, uh, a beholder had claimed dominion over the island of Larath. Um, and he made any of his subjects, who were in everyone on the island, um, <laughs> compete for um, 
favors and uh, freedom. And so the party learned that they must uh, they must compete in a race called the Rattlebolt Cup um, to win their freedom. Um, they did that. They won their freedom, and um, they negotiated um, not only to be able to leave the island, but also explore the island, and got a piece of treasure, which is uh, the form of a malfunctioning control rod, which I explained to the party <coughs> the night that they picked it, that it is effectively a rod of wonder, or a wand of wonder. Rod of wonder? Sorry. Right. It's wand. It's wand. Wand. It is a wand of wonder um, that they have yet to use. So with that, uh, the party plans on exploring the island. Um, and um, through all of this, Sarsarel has had visions of exploring the island and, um, and defeating some kind of metallic beast mm -hmm. um, for Umberly and to prove himself as kind of the champion of Umberly. Yeah. Um, so with that, we, take, we end off where we, or we start up where we ended off with you guys having won the Rattlebolt Cup, um, choosing your prize, and um, kind of planning out what you want to do next. So, what do you want to do next? It is evening as you're finishing, uh, as you finish the race. Uh, go party at the bar. I mean, clearly. That the Stoned seems, Bard Tavern? Yeah. Seems like the best option. <laughs> okay. Logically, it checks out. Okay. Yeah. So you can go to the Stoned Bard Tavern. Um, there are several people there that um, you'd recognize from the race. Is um, Dario there? Hmm? Is Dario there? Dario's there. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> he says, hello, thank you for winning the Rattlebolt Cup. That's two winners in a row. You're doing great. You're on a roll, Dario. That's right. It's a me, it Dario. Must, must be loving this. Not really. <laughs> what? <laughs> the first I've heard it. <laughs> yeah, you didn't, you didn't, this isn't a pleasure trip of some kind? Eh, it's, you know, it's a living, I guess. I don't, I don't get shut down, so that's good. No, oh, sorry, Dario. I'm sure your dream is in another island. <laughs> Maybe when we get to Dario 64. Yeah, yeah we'll get it. Yeah. It's going to be big, guys. Yeah, right? Yeah. Um, so you're, you're there drinking. Um, Sarsarel, you see a, ha a bugbear who's giving you the stink eye as he has, like, clotted um, goblin blood in his fur. <laughs> and he's using, like, a wet wash rag to kind of wipe it wipe himself clean yeah how many um what's your problem how many people are <laughs> remaining from um well for the most part you guys didn't kill a lot of the well there's some goblin remains right there yeah um you didn't kill a lot of the racers but all of the goblins were killed uh that was eight goblins um and then how Ren, did that happen you thunder waved them <laughs> In a small confined space. Yeah, I, I into know. goblin in a, soup. In a bus. I wasn't thinking. You thunder really. wave. I mean, it was just the excitement of the race. That yeah, really. Got me all. Yeah. That was your lightning bolt <coughs> spell to yeah. shrink everybody. It definitely decreased the yeah. size of that group. It de <laughs> by by <laughs> quite a bit. Down um, to an eight. <laughs> so I think Ren um, also was fighting with the yeah. um, the gnolls. Um, where he, I don't know that he killed any, but he definitely did some damage to them while you guys were finishing the puzzle. Um, which we totally finished. Which you, quickly. You did finish. We, we did. did. We totally finished after the goblins somehow? No. No, no that was the other yeah. puzzle. Oh. That was the tower of, uh, yeah, the tower, tower of, yeah. the tower of, yeah. Uh, yeah. There were many puzzles in the Rattlebolt Cup. Um, it might have been overly ambitious. <laughs> um, so you guys are drinking. Yep. Um, most, mm -hmm. for the most part, people are taking the loss fairly well, um, except for the bugbear. He's not super happy about you guys, you killing all of, I mean, he's got to really figure out a different strategy. Well, you can always challenge the champion. <laughs> <laughs> you going to beat the crap out of a bugbear? <laughs> I'm a depressed well, I mean, bugbear. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's one way to get in Rune Dye's favor. That's So true. I'm told. That's true. 
He says, you know, I think I think I might just talk to Rune Knight. Um, there's a spot open on his crew. Oh, yeah, weird. Yeah. There's a, definitely a, do that. a vacancy, you say. Yeah. From the lack yeah, of and a the black vacancy dragon. Uh, was they they did meet up uh Dragonborn, a black dragonborn that um, had journeyed here, and he had made mention that he used to be a part of the uh, the cult of the dragon, which also Archon uh, is a member of the cult of the dragon. So they they took that to mean that he must die, which you know, fair enough. We didn't kill him. <laughs> I mean, listen. I'm not saying that it worked out well, but somebody's got a treasure and the right to explore the island. <laughs> True. And all it cost us was one dragonborn. So I, like, it didn't really... cost me a thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it cost Rune Dice a dragonborn. Rune Dice killed him. All I did was stomp his ash. So, oh, that's good. That he... sounded like the boo you deserve. <laughs> <laughs> so is there anything that you'd like to do in this, in this uh, the Stone Bard Tavern? I want to get everybody drunk. Oh, okay. 100%. That is what's happening. All right. So you're buying everybody drinks? Yep. All right. So everybody starts drinking quite a bit. Um, <laughs> Does anybody know about previous winners and what they've done? Yeah. I ask. Just oh, randomly. Yeah. Um, so they're... Um, so Doden and Bowden, the two monks that yeah. you raced with, the two human Is his monks. hands okay? They're yeah. fine, I'm sure. That's good. Good. Yeah, they're okay. And they don't want them to still be hurt. <laughs> From the steering wheel. Yeah. 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 Um, they uh, they say, oh, the last winners, um, they were the Purple Lions of Cormier. Um, oh. And when they won, they won about a month ago. Um, and so they left? No, they chose to explore the island. How big's the island? Uh, we've only seen a couple of spots on the island. We've seen the racetrack. Um, we've seen this uh, place. How long did it take us to walk to the racetrack, which is on the other side of the island? Well, you would have, so you would have gone. We went through the tunnels. The tunnels, yeah. Um, it took a little ways, and there it was not. Um, I mean, is it multiple days of travel to get to the racetrack? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Would it take us a month to get there and back? No, not walking, no. All right. No. Well. Wow. So. All I can say to that is, welcome to Cormier. <laughs> I like swords. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so they say, you know, they they left to explore the island. I'm sure that they got off the island. That must be. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Cool. They did, definitely didn't come back to town. All right. Well, I wouldn't come back here. Right? Um, so, Mike, uh, as the night progresses, uh, the bugbear gets a little drunk. Um, and he goes to pick a fight with Sarsero. <laughs> That's, That's not going to end well for him. <laughs> Sonic, boom! <laughs> now this is the same night, so you don't have, you have at least one uh, spell slot uh, missing. Right. Right? Because you did Wait, at least one. did it take away. multiple? Right? Yeah. Multiple days of travel to get back from the racetrack? or? <laughs> <laughs> Just questions. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was just curious how that worked. <laughs> the shuttle. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a the shuttle. shuttle. There's a shuttle. Yeah. There's another bus. We fast passed. <laughs> so yeah. you can get on the good ride. So, so it's, um, uh, it's a hypertube. <laughs> so as he walked up, you can loop. see yeah. you can see him walking up with uh, hatred in his eyes. Uh, and Sarsarel is turned the other way. Hmm. Um, and as he walks up, he stumbles, and he punches you in the face. Oh, good. Oh. <laughs> or attempts to. Let's see if he does. Um, that would be an 18. Yep. All right. Well, that wouldn't have punched me. <laughs> yes, it's a good thing he went for you. Mm -hmm. Maybe easier to hit. Well, now I have a reason to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> He says, I'll get you, you stupid half elf. And then he punches the half orc instead. <laughs> um, you just call me a half elf. <laughs> <laughs> and that is uh, 11 damage to you, Mike. Okay. Now, that looked like a good hit, right? Like yeah, it, we, it looks pretty good. Solid, solid hit. 
I'm going to start taking bets. <laughs> okay. I bet that he's going to beat the crap out of that bugbear, but I'm going to use the fact that they just saw him get rocked to help me on that. Yeah, so um, <laughs> you need to start placing more bets on, like, how I killed someone. Oh. So who is participating in this fight? Is it just well, going to be one-on-one? I mean, or do you guys need to roll initiative? We'll probably roll initiative. Yeah, it might be a good idea to roll some initiative. I'm sure. I no mean, one's you can hide the anything. crowd. I sure. That's all I'll do. Is just hey, the Howard. Um, I had a pencil. Would you mind grabbing I don't know me a what pencil? You're about. It's not that one, right? <laughs> I don't know. I'll grab another one. Cool. Okay. Um. So, Mike. Yeah. What's your initiative? Thirteen. Thirteen. All right, Howard. It's an 18. Oh, 18. You're going before. Uh, Aaron? Six. Six. So you're hyping the crowd. <laughs> hyping the crowd. Okay. <coughs> but he's got his back. <laughs> Sharpies. There's pencils in there. Same thing. It's in the bag. Uh, all right. Let me roll for uh, I think it might Harang. Be I think it might be in the dice. Nope. There. I knew it was oh, there. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, Yeah. Who's going I rolled before? a 19. Oh. I rolled an 18. I rolled an, an 18. Yeah, so I, I, I also it. rolled an 18, and I got an 18. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Killer uh, initiative bonus. All right. <laughs> right? Yeah. So. What do you need decks for? It's a dump stand. So. I put more points in Wrong looks kind of sheepish <laughs> that he punched the wrong person, Oops. but then he's just going to go ahead and punch you again. <laughs> <laughs> so that wasn't. Wait, he isn't going to punch me? <clears throat> that wasn't the. That, that was, was a surprise round. Even though I knew it was coming? Well, he knew he was going to attack me. Well, I knew he was going to attack somebody, so therefore mm-hmm. I wasn't surprised. All right. It's surprise. not like you were fucked. <laughs> <laughs> um, Howard, what do you do? Uh, I'll say, what's wrong with you, Minnie? Are you really that dumb that you want to get killed by my brother here? Instead of talking to Rune Dice? And getting a job. Getting a job. <laughs> <laughs> he, you, when you look at him, like the, the period of time that you were talking to him earlier in the night. You got something in your eyes. Is, uh, his Goblin. eyes are a little glazed at this point. Um, so What's in this drink? <laughs> Don't um, ask that question. It's not a good answer. Yerp says fish guts. Yes, that's why, <laughs> that's why you we don't have that fish guts here. Uh. Um, All right. So are you doing anything? I, I'm gonna ring a little bell. You try to ring my brother's you bell. I'm told gonna ring the your bell. I don't think it's hurting. Save. Uh, what kind of save? Told the dead is a wisdom. I believe. Uh, wisdom. It is a wisdom saving throw. Yeah. All right. I got a seventeen. Ah. Fine. So you ding a ding a ling a ling and nothing. Shipwreck? I'm gonna take my glass. I'm gonna finish my drink. Okay. Rage, and then bash him over the face with it. Okay. All right. Make your roll. Uh, let's see. Shipwreck is proficient in um, improvised, improvised weapons. weapons. Mm-hmm. So that's uh, an 18 to hit him. 18 hits. All Just right. fine. And is that gonna be like a d6 damage? Uh, sure. Right. Twelve. Okay. Um, and he's gonna make a deck saving throw, and he manages to avoid getting a uh, clay pot in his eyes <laughs> when you hit him over the bridge of the nose. That's with. probably good. <laughs> uh, Aaron, what's Vazago doing? Or Vazago? Uh, I'm grabbing bets. I'm gonna try and set up a bookie uh, okay. here. Uh, Are you going perception, uh, oh. persuasion, or deception? Mm, I'm gonna go deception because I'm gonna try and make it seem like the bugbear's got an advantage. Okay. Uh, so deception. And so that's gonna be twenty-five. 25, okay. <laughs> I rolled a 15. I, I People are I starting to bet on Haram, uh, yeah. and, um, and you're taking the bets, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. So back to Harong. Uh, Harong's going to take two swings at you. At me or at Mike? Mike. Yeah, I'm going to take two swings at him next time, too. 
So, ooh, two hits. All right. Uh, so sixteen. So eight. Yep. And uh, seven. So three. As a reaction. Okay. I'm going to make an attack against him. How are you making an attack against him as a reaction? It's That's part overpowered. Of my, it's not overpowered. <laughs> I just have to figure out how I did it. I'm looking for the right page here. Do you know what kind of spell it is? Yeah, it's the it's an electricity thing. It's from my uh, it's from my domain. domain. Yeah. The storm domain. Mm -hmm. The tempest domain. Do you raid and attack him? What are you, the god of hammers? <laughs> 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 oh, oh, someone start playing them a grant. But not here because we do not uh, own no. the song. No. We don't have Disney money. Mm-mm. No. Do you want to know how much money Disney money is? Not enough to put it in, to put it in the other movies. They're like, all right, one was enough. Two times one. Yeah. No more. Right. Also, yeah, we'll use Peter Dinklage. It's sure. Wrath of the Storm. I just have to look up. <clears throat> Wrath, Wrath of the Storm. Storm. Yeah, hold on. I'm really sorry Jeez. about the time. Mike, what does shit break do? I'm just going to punch him twice in the face. Okay. Hell yeah. Do you need to look up a spell before you cast punch him? Punch. Um, I'm going to oh. cast a crit to the face. Oh, oh a crit to the face. <laughs> um, so that's only going to be a d4. But I get three of these. Okay. There you go. So four. Five. Six, seven. So 14 damage from the first one. Oh, punch. yeah. He's injured. Does a 17 hit him? Yeah. Okay. And then four more for this. That one. Oh, that hurts as well. And then Wrath of the Storm. It's a rebuke. Okay. Does 1d6. He was one. within five feet. <laughs> and he needs to make a dexterity saving throw. I made his dexterity saving throw. What's the DC that I needed to beat? Is a 13 good no, enough? No, it is not. It's oh, a 15. That's too bad. So he's going to take... 2d8 lightning damage. Ooh. 2d8 lightning damage. So 14 damage. Okay. All right. Zabity He's zap not feeling great, and you're the one that started, uh, you pulled out a gun in a barroom bro. <laughs> 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 oh, wait. You know what? I thought I could attack somebody that was just, he, it's only if he attacks me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. And then... <laughs> no lightning comes back. Did you want to do it something didn't else happen. instead? <laughs> Attack him with your trident. It's yeah, like I'll stab him with my trident. <laughs> really? Take. You're gonna just stab him with the trident? <laughs> Take that! I'm making money off this, bro. You can't just start stabbing people with tridents. It's an 18. Uh, 18 hits? Yeah. Okay, so the <laughs> bets are starting to go a little differently. God damn it. Nine damage. Nine piercing damage. Nine piercing damage. Okay. <laughs> He's injured. Well, all of his friends can join in, too, if they want. Oh, yeah. all the goblins? Yeah. Oh, okay. All of the goblins. I already all killed goblins. all of them. <laughs> well, then Don't remind them of that. <laughs> hey, I killed all of your friends. Uh, Baziago, what are you doing? Remember all those goblins? All right, there? so... Did you know them? Uh, there's yeah. some there. No. I'm going to be... A I'm going to, like, stand on the sidelines and be like, it I mean, it might so still be not. a fight. <clears throat> or you're a... What are you, a bugbear? <laughs> I feel bad if your mother was the bug. Uh, that's He can go ahead and make a wisdom save. Oh, <laughs> no. That's a second. You're going to start laughing. Oh, he's, oh he's, okay. he makes it. You there was no vicious mockery. Oh, <laughs> mockery. Um, why don't you go ahead and make uh, another deception check, too, to sure. try to keep the bets going on your side now that there's three uh, combatants. So that one, that one's not as good. That's only a, tw uh, that's only a 20. Oh, I know what I should have done right. on my turn. Well, if he lives through Howard's attack, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. Well, he lives through mine. Well, no, but you're going to go before me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, two attacks against you, one hits. Okay. Um, that is nine damage. Nine so damage. Four. How are you doing over there? I'm fine. I'm not at half yet. Okay. Uh, Must be nice to have hit points. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've taken 26 damage of 60. I look, I look over at Visago. <laughs> am I, am I not supposed to stab this? No, guy? no more stabbing. You're not in this. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't know there was bets. And then you ring I, the bell. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Uh, just a DC 15. No. Yeah, he doesn't make it. He does not make it. 
Oh, so he takes four damage. Okay, he takes the four. <laughs> All right, shipwreck. Uh, I'm gonna look to see if there's a drink around me. Oh yeah, there's plenty. Of drink. All right, so I grab one. Okay, and you drink it. I drink it, and then <laughs> smash the bottle of his head. No, oh. I wing it. So it looks like I'm gonna throw it at him, but I'm gonna wing it at the gnolls. Oh, nice. <laughs> Oh, you're going yeah. for a bigger bro. Nobody yeah. Nobody knows the yeah. trouble. Okay. Uh, here we roll. That's uh, an 18. Okay, that, uh, that hits 20. the Knolls table. Oh, hang on. 22. That hits the Knolls table. Yeah. All right, so that is... And they're like, hey, man. That's two damage. Pool. Oh, oh, sorry. I just... they, they get up and they uh, <laughs> it has its effect. All right. And then... 18 to hit him with the second Oh, you hit him. All right. This is why you don't let a half-orc barbarian in the world. No, this no, is exactly this is why you do it. And then the tiefling that. makes money off of it. This yeah. is, right. It's worked for us so far. So nine damage. Okay. So you knock him out. All right. Woo! That's that's the timing I was looking for. <laughs> he goes down as more people come in. So um, for the sake of brevity, yeah. a barroom brawl breaks out. <laughs> um, and the bullywugs are called, Aww. and they, they ribbit uh, their oh. way over, eventually. Eventually. Oh, okay. You think we could take a group of bullywugs? <laughs> so you guys <laughs> I mean, if you want a to, we could. <laughs> bunch of bullywug ass, yeah. um, and then at some point, the... Uh, that happens. <laughs> at some, no, at some point, the, the night comes to a close. Whether or not you're conscious... For that to happen or not, um, fairly certain it'd still be fine. <laughs> you wake up the next day uh, fairly battered, uh, regardless of how um, how you uh, spent the the bar brawl. Uh, no one got got out unscathed. Uh, Being Zago, a few wingers is worth it. <laughs> you got ten gold. Whoa! The guys Whoa, here don't, rich. don't. They don't have, have a, a ton of, of money. A lot of money. You, <laughs> but you, you are know, now the wealthiest person on the island. Like Twenty copper pieces. But you know, <laughs> but you know what I have and they don't. What? Ten gold. That's right. Ten more gold than they have. <laughs> That's right. That's and a sword cane. <laughs> and a sword cane. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. So the next day, you guys uh, wake up. Uh, you're a little stiff, and. What do you do? I'm going to go exploring. You're going to go exploring. <laughs> okay. So you know that, um, Ren, first off, Ren goes back to the ship. He doesn't want any more part of this technology island. Um, so you need to gather some provisions before you head out. Okay. Because going out and exploring a dense jungle without provisions is probably going to end up poorly for you. No. I don't know I mean, why you say out. that. It'll be fine. <clears throat> Um, Aaron, down uh, underneath those minis, yes. um, there is a map of the island yes. that you can um, get as part of your provisions. Fantastic. It, you'll notice that it has... Uh-oh. Oh. You'll hmm. notice that it has one marker on it, and that is where you guys goes. start. Uh, it's upside down. One more turn. There we go. Don't worry. I'm just going to our studio office. Okay. <laughs> so, um, what would you guys like to uh, do as far as provisions go? Uh, we need water. Mm -hmm. Hi, I can make water. You can? Trail rations. Yeah. We just need a container for it. I guess if we got a container, we might as well just put water in it. <laughs> well, then we just have to carry it. Well, um, you just have do to you carry any, are any of you guys proficient in survival? Yes. Okay. I am not. However, I do have a plus four wisdom. to my wisdom. So, I have a plus four to my when survival. You leveled up, what did Boom. Howard, when you leveled up, what did you take for your um, level up at four? Did you take uh, ability increase or? Yeah, I took ability in increase. Okay. What did you take your ability increase in? It was either strength or wisdom. Okay. And then, Mike, you took an ability increase? Yes, in strength and dexterity. Okay. And Aaron, you did not take an ability I did not. I took, took lucky. You took the feet of all feats. The feet of all feats. Lucky. Three re-rolls a day. Nice. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty, pretty things, cool. it's inspiring. Things, things work out for Visako. <laughs> <laughs> this has been shown. Yeah. They do. I got a 10. You got a 10. 
Okay. So survive. you know um, that um, one people in um, metal or heavy armor, not heavy, but like heavier armor, um, get exhausted more quickly mm -hmm. um, while traveling through the jungle. Who's got heavy armor? And <laughs> well, you have metal armor. Have metal. Um, yeah, you have mithril, but it's not heavy. Yeah, that's um, real good set of mithril you got there. I'm just <laughs> stretching out this like red special leather armor I got on. <laughs> um, <coughs> and uh, yeah, Vaziago is wearing a, a set of armor that you haven't, you definitely saw it during the race, but you hadn't seen it before the race. Interesting. Um, and I just assumed you bought it. Yeah, it's just yeah. side just question. Just assumed you know. stole it. <laughs> that's um, that's just how fair. he buys things. <laughs> the other thing you know, um, like with a roll of a ten, is you need about two gallons of water a day. Um, so each of us? Yeah, yeah, each person. What? Each person. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That's twice as much as I drink. <laughs> but I'm not trekking through the jungle, right? So. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Yeah. So, um, you can gather water here. Okay. Um, you could also, if you want to, just spend hold it like this. Yeah. If you want to spend some money, you can gather like camping supplies for. How much? Out in the how much would camping supplies be? About ten gold. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I it's not it. expensive. <laughs> yeah. Um, we can get really good camping supplies with ten gold, what, though, right? Um, <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> what like the shopkeeper um, says is, act, he actually tents. has some decent used camping gear. Oh. Used. Um, Pardon the blood stains. How oh, oh, yeah. use? Can we maybe take a look at that? Yeah, you, you take a look at it. Yeah. Um, go ahead and make an insight check. Yeah. On on how used it is. Hmm. You see, I was drinking the night before, so my eight insight. Okay. <laughs> um, well, your vision's a little blurred. It looks pretty good. <laughs> Do you want um, me to take a look? Looks at like that? pretty good. I mean, sure. Take, I'm fine. I'll take a look at it. I'm fine. They might have a better insight than you. Fine. It's a twenty. Insight. How does that? Work? <coughs> it looks like it's uh, made the trip through the jungle a couple of times, oh. um, but it's usable. It's I mean, pretty good. Use it's made it back as a bowl. I mean, yeah. yeah, it's definitely been around. It's better than nothing. And Is so this I, all you've got? He's got. He says, "I got a kayak too. If you want a kayak, how much for the kayak and the camping supplies? <laughs> uh, camping supplies, ten gold. Uh, kayak, uh, thirty gold. No, what hold do you need on. a kayak for? Uh, I don't think are there that's rivers really in the jungle. Uh, there's a river in the jungle, and this kayak could be really useful. Yeah, it's a fast way back. Not if we don't you guys have to carry it all the way through the jungle. Yeah, what? They, what you think we're just gonna? Show up on the map. Oh, okay. Don't you, it shows wait, up on my map. You guys think we're just gonna sure. run into some guy who's carrying around a boat with him at all times? We don't have that kind <laughs> yeah, of thing. Yeah, what are you, Link? You what, just carrying a what, raft what are you, some carrying? kind of pirate with a hat that turns into a boat? We no. don't got that kind of thing around here. No, in this game, about? we don't. <laughs> no, there is definitely somebody that has yeah. that. Yeah. 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 I was like trying to get the reference. I'm like, Link, I'm like, that also works. But no, that's not what <laughs> yeah, I was going that's for. True. Yeah, true. It's, it's the first mate who's currently yeah. sitting on the boat. All right, so I'm going to do a persuasion check to see if I can lower the price. Okay. Where'd you get these sweet trees? Uh, Games Workshop. 16 persuasion. And if, if you ask me online, I love answering that question. <laughs> um, what'd you get? 16. 16? Um, you think you can get him down to probably about 20 gold for the kayak. Um, you also... Um, Are there holes in it? No, it's, 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 for, yeah. it's for easy care. Is it yeah, collapsible? Is it an inflatable kayak? It's an inflatable kayak. <laughs> it's, everything's collapsible. It's just it's bladders. <laughs> um, it's no, a bunch of it, wine skins. It's, it's also together. probably not the best yeah, thing deal to, like, drag, to through. drag through the jungle. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean if, I, if I got a down low right enough, now. it would have been. Oh, yeah, <laughs> if you filled it with water <laughs> and then you just drank you out drag of it. it. You just and you drink out of it. Create. I'll like just a, create water. No, you just put a couple slats under it and drag it behind you. Yeah. So I'll, yeah, I'll use the kayak and I'll be like, well, like I mean, with a purchase deal like this, and he lowers the price. 20? I'm trying to get 20? him to lower the price on the camping yeah. goods. Yeah. Yeah. So as soon as he lowers the price on the camping goods, he'll be like, all right, I'll take those camping <laughs> goods for that price. Okay, uh, seven uh, seven gold, uh, five silver pieces. Mom was pretty strong. Done. All right. I'll tell you what, eight gold. 
All right, thanks. Yeah. Hey, tell you what, uh, if you make it back, uh -huh. um, I will buy it back from you for three gold. There you go. And this is business. <laughs> You make it back. When we make it back. <laughs> sure. If we decide to come when back. But here's the thing. It back. Either we make it back and I make eight gold, or we don't have to worry about three. it. So it's three. really. That's true. He said three. He said eight gold. No, three. He said three green. Yeah, he said eight gold. You, <laughs> <laughs> you guys were all there. You all heard it. <laughs> I definitely heard gold. Yeah. Because, so, you know, I paid... I'm bad with math. Because I paid 10 for it. He's oh. going to give me 8 back. You know back. what? Probably uh, the 5 for interest makes yeah, sense. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you guys head out. It's worth more now. Yeah. It's um, been used by famous adventurers. <laughs> the road out of... I'll, I'll sign it. it. before we give it back. Yeah, I'll put my signature on it. The road out of Rundai's camp is fairly easy to travel. It gets to... Not dense jungle uh, pretty quickly... It gets to light jungle where you, the the travel paths are still kind of uh, easy to follow. I think we could still ride our speeder bikes through this part. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Sweet. But if you roll I a natural one, up. your character dies. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I just took lucky. I'm willing to take the speeder bike out for a spin. <laughs> I got minis for those now. <laughs> um, and then um, after the first day of yeah. trekking through the jungle um, you get to dense jungle so dense. the first hex that uh, um, out of the uh, off of the town yeah, and this I'm is where we find Eric's character just lost like one day away from what the is town. what There's is going <laughs> on no you don't you don't find him in the first hex that would that would be cool <laughs> And you find this really competent wilderness guide who's, well, he's, who's one day of travel away. Well, he's quite competent, and he knows better than to and go to, to go town. Back oh, to yeah. 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 It could be. So he, just, he goes into town, he steals what he needs, and he leaves. So the hexes are one day travel each. Okay. Um, you can. We can choose our path then for you, them? You can choose your path. Um, the mountains are, are a little bit... Uh, hardier terrain it's going to take you longer to get through Crazy. those um and you guys will have a chance at a random encounter um as you travel through the jungle um but it's the it's the three of us plus uh the dwar plus the wizard right the yeah is with us xenos. Okay. xenos your best friend xenos <laughs> he's not my best all friend. your life he's my best friend he's did cirque's best friend and we have a rivalry thing going that's on. right this is just a little daily like thing. Craig got on, got on the ship, right? After Craig we won the, the island ship. and we won. Okay, cool. Yeah. Just wanted to clear that up. Yeah, I'm not stealing uh, NPC allies just, just because. Just for the, no. From, no, I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't like, yeah, and I want that treasure. I want to explore the island. But he's like, and he didn't bring up his dwarven friend, so he's mine now. So, so Craig is dead. <laughs> Craig is dead. No, Craig's got uh, a bomb that he's got to take back to his dwarven friends to. Yeah. To recreate, and luckily it's yeah. sitting safely on our wooden ship. Well, yep. Fortunately, so the we're ship in the jungle. Is currently, in the capable hands of a captain that actually knows what he's doing. That's true. That's very true. Also, um, is, that. Doug, is Doug <laughs> on? No, no. Method Man just got on though. Hey, hey, Method Man. Um, all right. So, um, what do you guys want to do? You want to set for the first let's, night? Let's set up camp. So I assume we have to do that every night. Yeah. Every We've got night. this camping equipment. Oh. Out of steel. You bought you bought us two double sleeping bags instead of four singles. Yeah. Yep. I have one and you guys can share the other <laughs> one. That's, I don't understand. What's the and problem? One guy just gets a blanket. You're, <laughs> you're a, I'll, I'll take the blanket. You're you guys are brothers. I thought you were used to this by now. Yeah. Well now you get to share a sleeping bag with Zena. Oh great. This is how we become friends. <laughs> Surprisingly, no, it's, it's a rivalry of who gets more of the blanket. Su surprisingly, <laughs> Zenos takes up more of. Surprisingly, Zenos is the big spoon. You wouldn't expect <laughs> that. <laughs> He's <laughs> almost a ladle. Yeah. <laughs> it's illusion magic. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> you just need to cast mage hand and move it around in their bed. So who's, <laughs> what is what? Stop touching me. <laughs> And then, I, yeah, and then I use mess and be like, don't worry about it. <laughs> Who's taking first watch? Me. Okay. So Shipwreck is taking first watch. Uh, Shipwreck, do you want to 
passively perceive or actively? I'm perceive? actively perceiving. Okay. <laughs> so go ahead and make your perception check. All right. right. I'm oh. actively perceiving so, while staring at the fire. So <laughs> yes, I did. I, you know, I'm going to turn this in. Oh, okay. oh, thank you. You have two, so that's One good. night. I, yeah, I got the other ones just sitting over here. So. I know. Uh, that's a 20 total. 20? Okay. So um, what swing. you see, and <laughs> you have twi- heard, because Ren didn't go out into the jungle as far as you did, but he has definitely tested the boundaries. Yeah, of told me that's some robot rune um, so yeah, you see, um, a creature that looks like a large, um, metallic, uh, chicken with like a long tail and a big, sen- uh, single eye on its, um, long neck. And it is kind of surveying around, um, and... It doesn't look like it has spotted your campsite. Um, we have a we have a camera with us the whole time. Too, you do we? have a camera. Thank okay. you for reminding me. Um, you do have um, a camera for Lord Rune Dye. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna try to hide. I got a 15. Okay. All right. So um, as you're watching it, it kind of starts closing in on the heat signature of the campfire. If you guys had a campfire. Yeah. Probably. Uh, um, and. It just starts moving into okay. the camp, actually. All right. And you're, and you're hidden. Yep. All right. Um, well, I don't know what this thing is, so I'm just going to beat the crap out of it. <laughs> <laughs> As you do. Yeah. As It's as a giant metal chicken with one eye, and it's coming into the camp. Some metal eggs pop out of it. <laughs> yeah. We'll uh, now, I'm not going to show this on stream because I wouldn't want to, um, I wouldn't want to have to pay copyright, but mm-hmm. that's what it looks like. It's the one I'm thinking of, right? Yeah. That's yeah, okay. pretty, yeah. That's pretty cool. All right. So it's, so it's kind out. of going towards the tent, and you... I'm going to break out and try to grab its tail. Okay. You grab its tail. Whatever that thing that resembles a tail. Sure. It's a tail. Tail like... <laughs> it's a... Um, <laughs> knife tail. It's a and immediately, tail. as soon as you make contact, the eye, like, flashes red. <laughs> and it's like... It's on the 12 to hit it. Uh, that hits. Oh, jeez. Okay. Apparently, yeah. mechanical chickens aren't that strong. Uh, seven damage. Okay. So, you, uh, describe this. You grab it by the tail. I'm just grabbing it by the you... tail and just pulling it away from the camp, just yanking on yanking it. Yanking it. Okay. Yeah, which is why so it does damage. It, it makes out an audible squeak, um, and you do seven damage to it. Um, beep, boop, beep. Oh, you, know, and you can grapple, I guess, right? Just yeah, pose strength check on him. Yeah. Uh, did you beat a seven? <laughs> yeah, I got a nineteen. <laughs> okay, how do you grapple this thing? I'm just gonna just hang onto its tail and just okay swing it around. <laughs> it starts like trying to run in in, but it can't like it can't get traction because you're holding it. So uh, I'm letting it step up and it, I'm like just it kind of <laughs> does the 90 degrees like trying to get in front of uh, out mm. out from behind you. So um, at this point, um, I will go ahead and have you two make uh, perception checks with disadvantage or with disadvantage because we're sleeping. Because you're sleeping. <laughs> Thank you, Howard. Also, there's going to be a test tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! There's a test tomorrow. Oh, there wasn't until Howard mentioned it. I got a 10. Okay. 14. You both wake up. Dang it. So you hear um, you hear metallic squeaks and squonks as uh, squonks. Shipwreck uh, <laughs> appears like to be a grappling a uh, robot chicken. Forgot. Hear what I found, guys? <laughs> so it's going to try an actual to... robot chicken. Yeah. We had rules about choking the chicken while so sleeping. So it, its not, long neck turns loud. all the way around so that it's looking at you. And you need to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, no. That's a 24. Um, so uh, it flashes. Its eye flashes, and there's a loud noise. Um, but you are not blind or deafened. Um, That's good. Yeah. This is a big plus in my opinion. So, um, and then it, it's 
it's going to well it, that's its action to do so it cannot try to escape your um your grapple because i believe that is an action to do that uh sarsra what do you do how far away is it not very it's not very it was, it was pretty close camp. to your tent i'm gonna just grab my trident and stab it okay so. yeah um, let me let's see here. I just wanted to see if anything. Um, no. Okay. So a no thirteen to hit it with my trident. A thirteen hits. And it's uh, five piercing damage. Okay. So I just basically run towards it out of my bag, successfully avoid tripping over the sleeping wizard, and and uh, stab it. Okay. And it gets stabbed. Perfect. That wizard is sleeping on uh, his octopus. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> only for so long, and the octopus disappears. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Vizago? Uh, Vizago is going to grab his cane. Mm -hmm. That's just a cane. Just a cane. As you guys know, yeah. just a cane. Never as, have been used before. As everybody knows, it's yeah. just a cane. And then he pulls out, it's a sword inside. Oh my god, it's I a know. sword. What? <laughs> uh, and he holds it by the skull, and he's going to jam it into the the robot. He's going to try and aim for the eye. Okay. All right. <laughs> the eye robot. Uh, that is a 15 <laughs> hit. 15 does hit? Okay, cool. He takes... Uh, he takes nine piercing damage. Okay, so you jab it right into the lens, and then it just, like, in a uh, bit of sparks, it kind of goes limp. <laughs> And uh, then it just kind of shudders and falls on the ground, and you're just holding a limp tail. And this is why you take a cane to a jungle. <laughs> Everybody knows that phrase. Yeah. This is why you take a cane this to a jungle. This is why you take a cane to the jungle. Yeah. It's classic survival gear. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, now I got a metal chicken as well. <laughs> I mean, that's going to be a pretty good. It is heavy. It is very heavy. Mm. Um, you're gonna have to make endurance checks if you want to carry this through the jungle. But he can better have it. What kind of what kind of check would it be to check this thing out and see what is going on with this metal chicken? Um, history. We <laughs> determined last week yeah. that engineering is history. History. Yeah. Why? Uh, if you have Arcana, that'll work for this too. Well, ooh, I can either ooh. use. My what plus three religion? history. I got a 16. Plus, it's not a, my plus three it's not a religious. <laughs> it's not from God or whatever. No. Okay. I got a 16 untrained in either of those. Okay. okay. It's a cool. metal chicken. It's a metal chicken. <laughs> uh, 15 trained on history. Okay. So, <laughs> so um, that goes. this, what you get from your studying of this creature, it. You've seen clockwork devices? Like, you were in that shop with yeah. the clockwork devices. Yeah, you know. I happen to have expertise. You know, yeah. I once pretended um, to be uh, whatever a this, engineer. Whatever <laughs> this is is far beyond um, the clockworks that you've seen. Mm -hmm. um, and you have been in the caverns below uh, Rundai's township, um, and you've seen other things similar to this, but not exactly like this. Hmm. Does it look like the same kind of technology that Dario is comprised mm, of? Or? Yeah, uh, like he is he is very advanced as well. Okay. Um, so yeah, it would look very similar to that. Yeah. Do we think that it's alive or is it just a Well, robot? this one is not alive. Mm -hmm. This one is clearly dead. Been, I mean, like what is it? Does it have a spirit? I mean, that is a Sentient? very deep Make a religion Question. check. I'm going to make a knowledge religion check. Okay. <laughs> Do machines have what is the a soul? So I'm Does just trying dream to determine of whether sheep? or not it has sure. a spirit. Make a Depends if it's into an electronic sheep. Yeah. Okay. Is that a, Go for it. I don't have any idea. Okay. <laughs> Got no clue. So you pray to Umberly. <laughs> Umberly. Well, let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> There's no heart. Uh, just wondering. Just wondering if we throw this in the water... Just sparks, or <laughs> <laughs> and then um, you wait for a second, and nothing happens. No answers come. Uh huh. <laughs> um, yeah. Hold, hold on. She says that it's uh, it's not really important, but that I'm still her favorite. You should listen to the tiefling more. <laughs> that's message. That's telepathically in your mind. Right oh, now. okay. 
doesn't sound like her. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it kind of sounds like her. I mean, it's pretty good. <laughs> um, so, night passes. Um, Just so you know, that's happening every time you pray now. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you guys break camp the next morning. Um, ready to head into the jungle? Yes. Um, I'm going to just break off the tail of this metal chicken. That's fine. It uh, will function as a club. It does 1d8. Awesome. Um, and you... Metal chicken tail club. Yeah. <laughs> um, Mike, if you want to... So, the rations that you bought, like, you can carry... Two gallons seems like a lot of weight. It is a lot. Weight it's, for... Um, that's six, why I was saying... Like, 16 just, pounds. Yeah. yeah. Just a jug, and then you just fill it, we drink, and then when you fill it, we drink. Yeah, but it's a level one spell, not a cantrip. So yeah. Oh, I have to use it. Yeah, as that's a you're slot using spell day. slots. Um, but what I'm what I was gonna say that's is, if you want to make survival checks, yeah, to try to find water to, sources. To I'm gonna go ahead and just and give you water. advantage on it then. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah. Uh, Twenty three. Okay, so that's you find yeah. Yeah. enough <laughs> uh, <laughs> food and rations to feed. Um, there are food and water. To, uh, to feed three and a half people. Okay, nice. Well, that's fortunate that there are only three and a half of us. That's mm -hmm. right. <laughs> Don't you all know our very successful uh, show on Rudite Show? Three and a half adventures. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the next day's travel is dense jungle. Okay. You, you know, man, this is really crazy. Kind of crazy. Good thing um, I got this chicken egg yeah, or chicken tail. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I am going to need you guys to roll a uh, personal dice for me. Uh, Ooh, someone. Percentile. Percentile. Well, one person? I'll do it. One okay. person. Howard. Whoever's quickest. Ooh, Howard claimed it. He did claim it. Uh, that's a ten. ten. Okay. Ten. And is high good for you or bad for you? High is clearly bad for us because I rolled a ten on percentiles. Okay. So right. I would have assumed. So you trek through the right jungle. Right in the middle. <laughs> um, and you manage to, you see more of these kind of chicken type creatures, um, but you don't, like. But you, not ever coming close? You are able to um, kind of navigate so that you don't have to really deal with them. Okay. If you, if you don't want to. I mean, they're pretty easy to break. You just poke him in the face. Oh, we didn't really get anything from it, though. So yeah, we got it a club. Can. You already have a club. You, know, you, know, you, you don't know, need four clubs. You know what you can also get uh, <laughs> from a club? Just break a tree branch. Yeah. A decent-sized tree branch. <coughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe te maybe put a leather thong around the, the end of it so that you've got a, a masterwork club. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> that is true. Um, so so you are now yeah. Ooh, in search the plus darker one. green. Area. Yep. Um, and which direction would you like to head? Ooh. Um. <clears throat> we got left, straight ahead, or right? I think I'm going to go left. Okay. All right. So. In case of emergency, go jump in the water and swim away. Okay. So, so uh, make a survival check because this is That's day advantage. three. Advantage. Advantage. 14 or natural 24. Let's take that natural 24. 24. Okay, so you were able to, again, find <laughs> that is your water yeah. for uh, this time four people. Okay. Not hey. three and a half. Xeno eats too much. He gets sick. <laughs> <laughs> no. He dies of dysentery. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that sucks. Why'd you have to be Terry's so mean to Terry? <laughs> <laughs> so. He does not take the dysentery. <laughs> As you um, are making your way into this section of the jungle, um, you come across a <coughs> temple. Um, and is this it a is, temple of Umberley? Uh, it's from the outside. It's difficult to tell what it's from. Fair so th for the our purposes, oh, this is two, by the way. Um, scene two. Oh. Um, what? <laughs> for our purposes, um, we'll just use the section closest to me for the temple. Okay. Sure. Um, so, thick uh, the thick trees offer no protection from the pouring rain uh, that has been constant for hours. It's starting to wear on you, uh, and your travel gets harder. Uh, up ahead, you see a stone structure choked with vines 
uh, surrounded by trees. Uh, the door to this structure is ajar, um, and it looks as though this would make sufficient uh, shelter for the oppressive rain. Hmm. So, I'm going to go sneak up. Does anybody want to make a perception check for me? Sure. I will also make a perception check. I will make a perception check, and that is a 13. Okay. I got a 10 on my perception and a 9 on my stealth. Okay. Perception's not better than a 13. I see. Okay. So, um, <laughs> what Sarsarel sees is he sees a statue that is kind of hidden in the jungle because vines have like climbed up it. But it's big. It's large. It I is just think very it's very sizable. It's very big. I will not speak in game terms. It is sizable. Um, you might call it a gargantuan statue oh, if you were looking at it in game terms. So you guys head up to the... It's hippopotamic. The, um... Yeah, I'm gonna go okay. through the door. Eric. Um, Foxfire sees a group of adventurers trekking through the jungle mm. and entering into a temple that he is very aware is dangerous. Um, so, that's what you see. Okay. What do you do? What do you I'm assuming you're hiding in the jungle. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm probably going to I'm gonna sneak a little bit closer to them, try to get closer to kind of figure out what they're doing. Make one a, of them's holding a chicken tail. Make a stealth check. Yeah, one and of them is holding it. <coughs> then try. Obvious, you're not hiding well. <laughs> <laughs> you're like they like standing behind I don't even bush. need the bonus. That's a natural 20. Oh, okay. <laughs> but just, just so that we know how badass you truly are. 28. 28. Yeah. On stealth. I'm so, not, oh, for stealth? Yeah. You disappear from time and space, um, and you reappear wherever you'd like. Um, you can you can move. He moves adjacent, like a harpy. Adjacent to um, Vizago, and no one would know. Um, and most people. So you like get closer, and they appear to at this point uh, be seeking shelter in the temple. Um, are you gonna let them just go ahead, or? Yeah, I'm gonna just kind of shadow him for a little bit. Okay. Cool. So for you guys, they have camping stuff. Um, yeah, they do have camping stuff. Uh, it's free camping it looks stuff. like camping stuff that you were sold, <laughs> <laughs> like from the matching set. I yeah. noticed, I noticed their gear, and I kind of just chuckle inwardly to myself. Um, okay, it's like the slightly less quality. <laughs> so um, inside the temple, uh, the uh, it is barely furnished. Um, the walls all opposite of the door. Uh, there is a stone altar on top of which are scattered trinkets, uh, candle stumps, and a bowl. Um, symbols depict uh, the four elements surrounding the base of an inverted pyramid painted on the wall uh, behind the altar. Oh. Um, is that the same symbol the Zago saw in the sewers? Yes, it is. Okay, good to know. Um, well, you speak Dwarven, <clears throat> right? Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I just know what I was told. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so they depict... Uh, inverted pyramid. Yep, inverted pyramid. Uh, you also see humanoid figures uh, raising a, smark, a sparkling object into the sky on what appears to, in what appears to be an offering. On either side uh, are statues. One lies broken on the ground. The other uh, appears to depict an error elemental. Um, laying in the middle of the room is a body, and the smell... Um, in the room uh, you believe is coming from the dead body. So it is very clearly dead. It's been dead for a while. And the humanoids are just... Is it a humanoid body? Well, it's... There's it, yeah, it's a humanoid body. Okay. Laying and, dead on the ground. And you said there's humanoids in there making an offering, or is it just a there's image? There's it's pictures. Oh, pictures of, of someone. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. So there's nobody that we see other than the body? The body and a, a crumbled statue and okay. then a statue of an air, air elemental? Air yeah. elemental. Does a knowledge 14 religion reveal anything about that? It's probably DC 15. Uh, it is DC 15. Um, it's very clearly um, some kind of religion, but you're not super familiar with it. Perfect. Um, the Zago seeing that, has, yeah. figured the, has figured out this in the past, right? Yeah, like, yeah. I don't I, remember who. I had Craig, Craig, Craig did it, but Craig I, had, dwarf, I was with him when he worked read. it out. Right. Dwarven. Yeah. So you know that this is a symbol of the Elder Elemental Eye. 
So I will relay that to okay. anyone just to so skip this is, a lot of This is a temple of, yeah. the, of the Elder Elemental Eye. Um, when and you cast Make Hole in that object? Why would I do that? Oh. On the something. statue? Make Hole in it's the statue? It's too large, probably. Yeah, it's too large for the... I mean, what if we took our time with the film and we did it like piece by piece no. and we spent the entire no. session building this? Yeah, you could do that. <laughs> if you wanted to do that. <laughs> no, I'm um, not doing that. No? All right. I, I can use that as a weapon. It's an option. So, um, <laughs> does anybody want to look around? Yeah, I'm proficient with Maybe I'll go uh, make a heel check on the, on the bike. I got a 10. Uh, is I'm he beyond around. saving at this point? You got a 10? Yeah. Um, you notice that there are some uh, coins in the bowl on oh. the altar. Oh, well, nobody's using those. Four. Wait, wait, you can't touch those. Why not? As he <laughs> scrapes the, elder, uh, the bowl in the elder and clearly I grabs can. the coin. 14 perception. In, it, uh, it, what are you looking at? Disrespectful. Uh, specifically, I'm I don't know the what this god is. Uh, if there's anything around, like okay, no. the symbol specifically, too, if there's oh, okay. anything weird around there. So um, you notice that, that um, when you're looking at kind of the iconography of the, the humans offering the um, the shining object it looks like when you've seen in the past corvin collecting a uh fragment the it looks very similar oh that's that thing that i wanted where's my shiny that he took away from me <laughs> it's like skexies with a shard of a dark crystal yeah kind of huh. except for they're humans oh okay not skexies <laughs> huh. um is anybody looking at you? You were looking at the dead body, right? Yeah. Um, and what what did you get on your heel check? Uh, there isn't a heel check. Medicine. 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 Oh, medicine. That's right. Sorry. Sorry. Not heel. Mushroom. A ten. Um. So it's Eric, so you know, uh, this is uh, Richards, the human fighter uh -huh. that you were journeying. Oh no. Okay. Um, Poor and Richards. We when you kind of. Well. Turn the the body over to to kind of investigate it a little bit more. Um, the face, although it has been dead for a while, mm -hmm. um, all of the capillaries in the face have been busted, like it's been suffocated. Ooh. And about that time is when an Aram elemental comes out of the unbroken statue and starts attacking your friend, my your brother, friend my brother, your brother. So let's roll for initiative, fellas. All oh, right. Should we you get in there? You can also roll for initiative. Oh, wow. Can you want to grab our little... Yeah, I mean, I could grab some things. I'm not going want. first. Uh, Mike, can you put uh, this dude... Up. And then can we position right. the, the uh, body. frame cam yep. so that we can... We need a, just a human fighter. Eric, what would you get? Eight. Eight. Okay, so you are going before um, the Zago. But not before anybody else. Um, <laughs> that probably looks great on camera, me leaning over like that. <laughs> okay. Where's, so, I need a, do you have a human so, fighter? Just a dead body. Did you uh, want, I don't have one. Did you want the initiative? Um, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna figure out who's going first. Okay. Um, I got a natural twenty, which is why I'm like, do you okay. just want to do it? Did anybody else get nope. a natural twenty? No, okay. I did not. <laughs> um, so. So Eric, you did you do not go before Vizago. <laughs> that, <thing's, laughs> that thing's so, up there punching me. Yeah. yeah. So um, what Vizago sees is um, basically the uh, statue kind of becomes animate, and then it becomes an earth or a, air, an air uh, elemental, metal. and it sweeps forward to attack uh, shipwreck. Um, can I go ahead and do an Arcana check to see what I know about air elements? Yeah, you sure can. Mm, I'm going to go ahead and use one of my lucky, actually. Okay. Not the greatest use of lucky, but whatever. Uh, that's only on 11. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, if you're going to the Liam O'Brien School of Lucky, you get to use that four times a day. <laughs> no, I go to the, the three times. Okay, so uh, with an 11, you would know that these things have um, resistances to s different types of, of things. You wouldn't necessarily know what, they're, mm -hmm. uh, what they are. Um, they are immune to poison because they do not have a bloodstream. Yep. Um, and they have certain conditional immunities that you... That would make sense for a creature made of air. 
Okay. I will just give you that. All right. Uh, um, does that take an action? No, or? that's just okay, cool. browsing your memory. In that case, then, I'm going to... I haven't done this yet, so actually I'm a little excited to do that. You're uh, can you dead? move me? No, I'm going <laughs> to move up to the air elemental. I draw my sword cane. Mm -hmm. I'm going to attack the air elemental. Okay. Uh, I would certainly hope a uh, 25 hits. A 25 will wow. hit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and the thing that I'm excited about, because I haven't got to do yet, is as I'm pulling the blade back to draw, I whisper something into the blade, and the blade turns kind of like a sickly green flame color. And as I stab, green daggers and knives attack the sides. And okay. I'm going to use uh, psychic blades. Okay. For the first time. Psychic blades. <clears throat> So I whisper my sword, you'll die in this desiccated temple alone. Okay. And that is going to be... And the air elemental says, I only speak uh, Arin. Can you translate, please? <laughs> it is. It's <laughs> telepathically. They okay. understand. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. That's not eight, creepy or nothing. Yeah. Uh, so that's going to be 14 damage. 14 damage. Um, you see the sword go in. And uh, I'm sorry. So some of... <laughs> I should have explained. So, uh, seven of that is piercing. The rest is psychic. I don't know if okay. that matters. For you, it does not matter. Cool. Um, so, the sword goes in. It seems to meet resistance, and uh, the creature looks like it is injured by your attack. Nice. Um, and for the sake of brevity here, um, I will say that it has... Resistance to um, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing uh, damage from non-magical. Oh, okay. So you have a plus one sword, yeah. so it doesn't matter. Cool. Um, all right. So um, now it's the creature's turn, and it changes its target of its I attack. I can see why that might do that. Um, <laughs> so it turns on you, and it attacks Vaziago twice. All right. Uh, and it got a 20 and a 24. I'm Those assuming are both going to hit. Both are going to hit. And it just kind of swings its arms at you, and you get buffeted by wind. All right. For uh, 15 damage. Oof. Dang. And? Some strong wind. Um, 12 damage. Oh, jeez. Oh, All right. Yeah. So that's... And what kind of... This is just... Are you sick? Specifically those numbers, huh? Did I knock you unconscious? You did exactly 27 hit points, which yes. is what I have. Which is what you have at level yeah. 4? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm a bard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but oh, I get to do one other thing that okay. I haven't done yet. Hell which is feet? when I get hit, my eyes light up and fire in an infernal. I go, and it can go ahead and take two. Uh, it can make a reese. It can make a save. I think it's dexterity. Okay. I don't think it's my reese is going to do anything. 12. That. What it got. It does not make it. So it can take 2d10 fire damage. Okay. So it takes uh, 7 plus 8. I'm terrible with math. 15. Someone help me. 15. 15. All um, right. So it takes 15, and it, like, and then I just go, right. fire goes, and it, uh, and for a second, yeah. becomes like a, an inferno-looking creature. And then the fire uh, goes out. Yeah, and then the fire goes out. Um, so that is... <clears throat> Got it. <laughs> Howard's got looking it, at dude. my math. Um, all right. So, Sarsarel. Uh So, it, are you down on the he ground? Knocked, yeah, he knocked. I went uncomfortable. You're, you're not going to have to make any saving throws. Or uh, no, death saving throws? He's at zero. I'm at zero. Oh. Which means no death saving no, throws. No death saving. When you go to negative, you make uh, death So, right well, now, I don't. If it hits me again, I will. Yeah. You. But bless? I guess I'll bless. And I might as well bless him anyways, because uh, I can... Do yeah. this reactive. Player Spoilers, stuff. Eric. You know that the other statue, um, the, you guys managed to kill the other statue, and then this one killed your friend, Richard. All right. So I'm gonna bless the three of us. Uh, so Umberly is going to give us her favor, and anytime you make an attack roll or a saving throw, you add a d4. Sweet. Okay. And was uh, that a standard action to do? That is a standard action. Okay. Are you gonna do anything with your movement? Um. I might move behind my brother. Yeah. <laughs> that seems like a fair... <laughs> so that I'm not a bit, like... Well, Xenos is like, kill it! Uh, 
it can, can it could just move around and hit you anyway. Oh, I'm sure, but well, it's, it makes me feel better. No, that's yeah. Fine. It also has a low intelligence, so it may not <laughs> it's emotional smart enough to do that. Shipwreck? All right. So I got a D4. I'm going to rage, so I got a 2D4. Okay. So that's 9, 10, 12. So 19 to hit it. 19 to hit it. You hit. Okay. Just fine. You know, it's just 1D4 around? Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Well, no, anytime you make an attack. Anytime. Okay. Yeah. Uh, eight damage from the okay. from the chicken leg, okay, or chicken tail, and then I'm gonna punch it with my other hand. Okay. So. Nineteen. Yeah, that's twenty-one something. Twenty-five. No, no, twenty-eight. Um, and it takes three more. From the, wow, nice. From the backhand. Nice. Yeah. One more. <laughs> Minimum All right. damage. <laughs> All right. Hit it uh, again. So Xenos. Is going to cast Firebolt and he will hit it. Nice. Um, and I needed D10. He does one damage. He Minimum does damage! One, just as much as you, but it's full damage. <laughs> a, full, a full one damage. Uh, Foxfire. Well, mine's one. <coughs> it's rounded to, to one. Um, oh, shoot. You got that one. Yep. Well, I guess I'm going to make myself known to the group, huh? Yeah. Well, you could yeah. probably hit, and we still wouldn't know where it came from. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, man. <laughs> this dog was not unconscious. He's using some sort of decoy. Now he has a bow and arrow. It's awesome. <laughs> you could probably pull that off on Zerk. Yeah, yeah let's see. <laughs> I'm going to be right over here, kind of hanging out. Okay. Come from behind the pillar where I was watching what's going on. Okay. And... Uh, yeah, why not? Let's try the old short bow action. Okay. Make your attack. This is where you kill Xenos. <clears throat> That's a 20. <laughs> a 20. <laughs> in the rightful spot. <laughs> you hit. Desecrate our town. And you get, um, you get your sneak attack because sneak attack. not only were you yep. hidden, but uh, it is adjacent Let's to um, bad guys. So or good guys. Out. I need to bust out another D6. Two D6. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> All right, so that would be nine piercing, and then okay. eleven for the sneak attack. So twenty sneak attack. Yep. All right, it takes that, but it, you get the sense that it's not. Um, it's not taking it's it. It's not a magical arrow. Yeah, your short bow is not magical. Um, we will talk about what magic items you have. Um, for the for the viewers, uh, Eric joined us um, by being invited yesterday, so uh, he did have a chance to make a character, but uh, we didn't have a chance to really talk about like a whole lot of his background and all of that kind of stuff. Um, all right, so Aaron, you are sleeping on the ground. Mm, so good. You dream of how cool that sword came in. God, it was so cool. Did you see what I did in this? Uh, and right. he took the fire. So the, the so one out of one time, air you attack elemental. something, it knocks you unconscious. I mean, that's, remember that. That's the air science. elemental will that's go ahead and attack point. shipwreck. Um, and that is one hit. Okay. So that is gonna be eight plus five is thirteen damage. So seven damage. Two. Is that bludgeoning, piercing, or it is bludgeoning and it Ooh. is non-magical. So you said seven. Seven. After your yep. Um, all right, Sarsaro. Well, he's just bludgeoning. I was hoping him to um, elemental type. It just oh, yeah, it's just, it's just lightning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cast guiding bolt on it. Okay. So. Well, if it was thunder damage, then uh, someone just cast silence, and we win. <laughs> and I miss. <laughs> <laughs> it goes right that through. A bolt of lightning just slams into no, the wall just, behind him. It dissipates in one spot, oh, yeah, goes right through, and then it collapses. <laughs> Should have been a critical failure. And then its eyes glow red for a second. Yeah. And it looks at you. Dubi Hi. It glowers at you dubiously. Um, all right. So that is Sarsarel Shipwreck. All right. Three, I like four, that you could have healed five. the bard, but you chose. Is that 12 hit yeah. him? Uh, 12 I, I, I mean, oh. Guiding Bolt does a fair amount of damage. I know, so. I know I'm just joking. I lost my defense. I wanted to end the fight and then actually use a, a better heal spell. Right. Yeah. You're fine. He's evidently on the ground with somebody's D12. Oh, really? That is not my yeah. D12. 
Oh, hey, that's me. There was, <laughs> it, there's everybody on the spot that collects dice because my D4 landed right there. It's a spot of cables. Uh, there's a 14 in it? 14 also does not hit. Oh, man. Did you add oh, the D4? Oh, sorry. No, I. Uh, 21. 21 will hit just yeah, fine. Yeah, I didn't add my bonus. <laughs> my, attack, my attack bonus. Yeah. That big number I seven. Do. Uh, 11. 11 damage. Okay. It's going to take oh, okay. some of that. Yep. Some. Um, <laughs> my, Zenos. My punches are not magical. Uh, magical. We'll move forward. Got to get the magic punches. To Vizago. Yeah. So move him forward ne- adjacent. Yeah. And he will spend his action to feed Vizago a healing potion. Hey! So, two, uh, Aaron, you go ahead and roll that for me. It's going to be 2d4 plus 2. 2d4 Thanks, plus Zenos. 2. <laughs> He'll never see this. Um, <laughs> right. What is Firefox doing? <coughs> or Foxfire. Well, Foxfire. Fox fire. Not Firefox. <laughs> it's still loading. <laughs> Man, I wish this was Chrome. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of his pet. Yeah. 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 Chrome. And um, it's just like way better at everything than him, and you're like, wow. <laughs> so you can continue to sneak attack it because yep. it does have because it's got all those pe- all, all those people around, around it. Uh, so. Yeah. Let's go ahead for another. Since I'm still ha- hanging out back here and watching them kind of fight it up close, I'm going to okay. shoot another arrow at it So because they have no idea where the arrow's coming from. That's right. Um, well, at this point, it's They might have an idea. I don't know. Seeing it. arrows it was, flying through the air. Yeah. Um, I just woke up. That's probably 14. <laughs> probably doesn't hit it. 14 so. does not hit, so. unfortunately. Um, Shooting the arrow just kind of... When, all right. W- um, Aaron just came up with, when you hide, you go into incognito mode. <laughs> 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 Bizarro. I don't need anyone knowing about yes. what I'm doing in the forest. <laughs> Bizarro. Awesome. All right. Um, <laughs> it darkens my brows. So your eyes your, pop open. Uh, my blast. eyes pop open. It's still up right now, right? It is, it is, it is still, still up. up. That's awesome. Um, ba- 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 I don't know if I want to throw that up. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Um, it can it go, <laughs> no, it can go ahead and make a wisdom save. A wisdom save. Okay. No bonus? No. Five? Oh, that's good. Five. So it feels really hurt when I'm like, you're just wind. <laughs> uh, and it can take, <laughs> just a bad one, it can take two psychic damage. Two psychic damage. And has disadvantage on its attacks. Okay. <laughs> it feels really good on itself. Yeah. That's vicious mockery. Now, I'm all of its people. attacks or the just... first attack? Oh, the first attack. Okay. Oh, I just okay. want to make sure. Okay. So it is its turn. <laughs> it's a piece of wind that's. Um, oh, it... I'm sorry. The other thing I was going to do is I'm going to give. Um, you have a D6 to use. I'll give you inspiration. Oh, you or... inspire him. Holy crap. <laughs> and I'll be like, you're just went, ah, but you're a real org. <laughs> that hurts so bad. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, when people hit you, it hurts. It the, hurts. Um, so the all the time. is going to move so that it is. It's going to move around you so that it's standing in the square that no, it could hit you both. No. So it's going to move out of his threat. Wait. No. Uh, it's going to move out of Aaron's threatening reach if Aaron wants to make an attack. He certainly yes, can. Yes, I absolutely will. Um, Dozier. I don't think 11 is going to hit. No, 11 does not hit. So you take your Did sword you cane swipe at it. Oh, you're right. <laughs> that might not hit. Does a 15 hit? Does a 15 hit? It does. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Blessings all over. Uh, it can take four, five, six more damage. Okay. From it a takes, magical sword. It takes six damage from a magical sword. Um, it is going to make uh, two attacks. The first one is going to be at disadvantage, and the first one will be targeting uh, Sarsaro, because right. it doesn't know well enough to say who would be easier to hit. So that would be a seven. That hits. That probably kills me. Yeah. And then against Mike, uh, 25. Oh, jeez. <laughs> There's a slight difference. Yes. There's I, a slight I, swing. A <laughs> slight swing. Still, so it doesn't get disadvantage on all attacks? Just the first one? Just the first uh, one. Really. He said the first attack. Yeah. Um, all right. So um, that would be 12 plus 5 is 17. All right. Whoa. So next attack roll they make. Eight. Yep. All right. Um, and it is Star Roll's turn. Boom. Star uh, Roll. Man. Thunder wave! Uh, no, I'm not gonna <laughs> thunder wave it. 
Yeah. It's just one creature. Well, we got this. I'm going to toll the dead on it. Okay. Because why not? All right. This is necrotic damage. Yeah. And it has to make a wisdom saving throw? It does. And it has no bonus, as we've established before. Right. 11? Does 11 no, make it? No, it does not. Oh. It is so. not at full hit points, so go ahead and use your upgraded die. 11. All right. Necrotic it takes damage. a full 11 damage. That seems pretty good. And it is upset by it. Can I disengage? <laughs> That takes an action. Oh, okay, okay. So no. I can remember. Um, but you can move away if you want. No, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> uh, Shipwreck? Does a, a 19 is obviously going to hit 19 it. 19 is going to so hit. So yes. I hit it twice. Okay. If I if I moved, if I if I continued to move um, among its base though, you can move all. Could the way I move it. to flanking? Would that actually provide a bonus, or is there not a that, bonus? If there is a bonus to that. There okay, so a, I will do advantage that. on your attack roll. Okay. So I might go ahead and roll again. Definitely want to do that. Because you want to crit fish, if you can. I did not crit on that one. Did not crit on the, the no. second punch. So, but you hit twice. I did yeah. hit twice. So oh. 10, uh, 15 damage from the first hit. OK. Four from the second hit. So 11, no wait, nine. Uh, all right. So it is, if you could tell that. Is it wispier? Yeah, it's 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 collecting some more together. Dirt. <laughs> um, it's holding together loosely, but very loosely. Uh, so Xenos, Xenos is going to go ahead and firebolt it again, um, and he misses. Um, oh, Xenos, you idiot! Foxfire? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because he missed. Yeah. Um, That's just rude. <laughs> Oh, well, I can't get quite up to it. Yeah, but you can still. I can just it. shoot. Yeah, you can yeah, still yeah. sneak attack it from there. <clears throat> just gonna keep hanging up by my pillar. You could shoot the thrill. Shooting. You shoot and you no. only got a license to hill. No, that's no. Well, that's not, a ten. Well, now you move ten. and you hide. <laughs> yeah, you can move and hide if you want. Yeah. You, <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Wait, so you can, I mean, I'm partially I'm partially obscured. I'm hiding just by par being partially obscured. <laughs> Zago. All right, it is me. Uh, how's it looking? It's wispy. It's wispy. looking rough. It's looking pretty wispy and rough. Yeah. Like, like if, if it, it had... was a swirling vortex of fury in me yeah. before, now it's more like a sputtering wisp of fury. <laughs> <laughs> if it had blood, it would be bleeding. Yeah. But it does not. Right. It's a breeze elemental now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, Thanks, It's swirling like this. That's, that's pretty good, actually. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Oh, you guys are counterclockwise in that. Turn. I'm not it's more, um, if you've seen American Beauty, it's the, nope. the bag in the, the wind. <laughs> <laughs> bag in the yeah. wind. I have not seen that movie. You haven't? No. Oh, it's good. It's real good. All right. Well, then I'm not going to waste on that. I'm going to go ahead and do a coward's turn. I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on myself. Okay. All right. Hmm. So its turn. Yes. It's going to use Whirlwind. Uh -oh. uh, it becomes large. So um, <laughs> it engulfs me. It engulfs um, one of us. One of you. Yeah. So uh, it's gonna go. Even or odd. Odd. And then you say how odd, and I say what. Uh, so do you want to be hit, or do you want to not be hit? I do not want to be hit. Okay. So, Mike, uh, go ahead and make a strength saving throw. Oh, a strength saving throw, you say? Oh, man, I could have made that. And you get a, plus, yeah, you get a D4 a, on this. He gets advantage on his strength saving. And you get a D4. And you get a D4. And, and, D4. and if and you don't it. like the rules, you can use the D6. Yep. I think I might also get a bonus from my, cla or from the, my class. On this is your save Oh, I've actually fail. been forgetting my own D4 on attack. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I only, well, I rolled a one the one time, I guess. So. Yeah, I might believe it. Yeah. Uh, 23. Okay. So you succeed. Um, plus save, five, so 28. 28. <laughs> yeah, that was just the roll. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. just the dice. So you succeed, and you're not engulfed in its whirlwind. Oh. Um, and it, it does like it's not whirling do around you. You're like in the oh. eye of a storm. Oh, yeah, I'm just <laughs> in the middle. So you, when it expands, you get the sense that it would probably buffet you out in a direction. Oh. Um, and you would take damage from that. But you succeeded. So, <clears throat> well, now I'm on the inside. Um, it's you do easier take, to oh, hit sorry, on the inside. You do take half damage. So, um, but your hands are dry now. 
<laughs> so Ooh. it's 18 damage, so you take half of that and so then half of that again. Nine and then four. Four. Yeah. Um, okay, so that was its turn, Sarsaro. Uh, Don't forget to make add it your... a waste, Make it a waste save oh. again. <coughs> okay. uh, that would be a 12. It does not save. So I ring a bell. Oh, this is going to be really loud for me. Eight necrotic damage. Okay, it takes eight necrotic damage. Uh, shipwreck. I'm a uh, You're going to fight, fight the wind? Yeah. That's 11. Yeah, yeah. That hits. Mm -hmm. Second attack. Uh, 12, 19, yes. That's okay. Two hits. Two hits. Okay. 10, 12 damage from the first one. Okay. Four for the second one. Okay. It dissipates on the first attack. All right. But you can't really tell. You're just like swinging away. <laughs> and you have five gold pieces from the... the Woohoo! From the altar. The altar. <laughs> um, Was it worth it? <laughs> well, we're going to kill that thing anyway. So... So, yeah. Um, and that was, that was going to be our five gold pieces. There's five gold pieces. Um, there were gemstones on the altar as well. Um, they're bits of colored glass. Um, <laughs> and not real gemstones. And, yeah, no. Um, Zeno still takes them. <laughs> yeah. Let's see here. That was in his inventory. Yeah, Where why these not? Bits of colored um, glass also, on the body. Stained glass yeah. windows. The um, body of there the is a no, no on oh. the dead body in the room. Well, okay. Are you gonna let us bring your friend? There is a pouch, <laughs> oh, okay. a, a coin pouch. So as I'm starting to go over to your friend and like is it looting a his pouch? body, are you yeah. gonna do anything? About oh yeah, okay. yeah. Well, what, here, <clears throat> comedic value. I'd also like to add in the part where like you're looting the body. I'd be like, whew, man, thanks. You guys called in that assist. What? Well, Wait, yeah, I, I thought that was you. I was unconscious. I thought I'd <laughs> for just a moment. Yeah, as, as you're bent over, like <laughs> getting ready to pull the purse off of him, all of a sudden, there's a dagger right oh, at your throat. Oh, hang on. Let's see. Oh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Make your stealth check to get up there. Oh, yeah. So don't fall on my face. Uh, well, that's only uh, 14. Oh, that doesn't even beat my passive. That, that doesn't beat my passive. Hmm? Yeah. So, no, you see, yeah. you, as it you would have, but come I out, have out, the of the uh, out of the shadows, they... <laughs> They notice you. Hey. Um, probably yeah, not. Was shooting. Probably not Cirque, because he's uh, his eyes are on the coin purse. That's true. I'm looking for stuff. <laughs> and Zeno says, "Identify yourself." Don't make me use this. And he's waving around a weird looking rod. Yeah. <laughs> you have to charge it up. And I think it's a sonic screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> it makes a weird noise. Oh, uh, maybe that. Here. Which one? The wand. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, before I say anything. Okay. Uh, to the group. What do you intend to do with that man's coin purse? I'll probably spend it on booze. <laughs> so I empty it into our coin purse. <laughs> Split it evenly for Give 10% to Umber. Oh, yeah. And 10% to Now we're time. not giving 10 more and of anything. We're now. totally. Giving 10% down the league. <laughs> wink, wink. You know those lying lessons wink, we've wink. been having. Are yeah, really of course I say wink, wink. <laughs> I can clearly see your winking eye at him. <laughs> Let's so, see. Zeno so it appears that we're going to split it evenly. Because <clears throat> why not? Um, it's 40 how we tend to do things. Wait, Zenos is actually using the wand on him? No, he's just as a threatening manner, oh. like, haha, don't make me use this. <laughs> and a and cloud of 600 it. oversized butterflies fills a 30 foot <laughs> radius centered right above him. <laughs> and the area becomes heavily obscured. The room the butterflies are made for 10 minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> Eric, go ahead and make a sleight of hand uh, Don't right? make me use this. Boom. <laughs> 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 uh, that's 19. Okay. So when the butterfly is clear, the this coin the purse is not on the body anymore, I would assume. <laughs> the nope. thieving yeah. butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> what else did he have on? Uh, he looked like he had um, a bunch of mundane um, gear. Mm -hmm. Like uh, he was not, he was wearing like a breastplate. Um, Why are we concerned with the body when there's a warm person right here? Well, because Cirque is looking body. at the body. I'm, 
<laughs> so he has There's a, a guy. He has a I breastplate. Don't talk to this guy. guy. It has I'm a, not a talker. A, a uh, engraved lion on it. Oh. Um, and uh, he has a. He's from Cormier. Long sword and a uh, and a shield. Oh, I got a 17 history check. Do I know what that is? Untrained. The um, the lion. Yeah. Um, you would know that the the style of the armor it looks like Cormier armor, like very it's very ornate um, and typically um, the armor smiths of Cormier. Are. So I poke my head out of the, the butterflies. I'm like, hey, are you from Cormier? Why yes, we are. I go back in. We. <laughs> you mean you and the dead guy? Yes, he, we were. There was four of us. There were four of us here. Hey, didn't you win the cup? We did. And you came out here? Of course. Like, like I'm assuming that you guys are out here. Yeah, but not a month ago. <laughs> yeah, what? You've been living in a jungle for a month? Well, things got difficult. Did you fight the chickens? <laughs> <laughs> How many robot chickens have you killed? Too many to count at this point. Yeah, oh, that's true. I was impressed with my <clears throat> one. <laughs> I killed the chicken. Where are the other? <laughs> Where are your other two? I held uh, it. <laughs> friends or yeah, so associates? You guys, I'm, Where I, are the other two? So I got one and you. So Eric, it's eleven people. What uh, Foxfire knows is okay, um, you the back. things <laughs> went bad well, try. at the river, um, and that's when you were like, I'm probably better off on my own. Did you not have a kayak? <laughs> I told you we should have got the kayak. <laughs> Why do we need no. a kayak? We're not going to drag a kayak through the jungle. Man. None of us wanted to carry that damn kayak. <laughs> yeah, well, and the you, uh, make the folly uh, of most men. Survival check. Oh, that's well, fine. That's... I just walk under the water. <laughs> you know, you would think that's what <laughs> I should have had. <laughs> well, this, that's a sixteen. Yeah, you know the direction of the river. Yeah. Okay. It's ignore the bird. Follow the river that way. <laughs> yeah. So he points off in the distance. <laughs> Enjoy the butterflies. Oh, the river's over there. The river. The river. Yes, we got. We got, we got separated, or I separated myself, and um, so you deserted your Richards friends? here. Unfortunately, Richards. I only know his name is Richards because it was on his name tag. This one. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it was. It's a, Did you take the breastplate? Yeah, it's, it's an. Nice. It's an. It's on an the armored, inside of the breastplate. Yeah. Like on it's the an armored mom stitch. It's an armored dude from Cormier. There's like a one in three <laughs> chance his name's Richard. I mean, let's be fair. <laughs> like, I take it. I'm like, I slide it over to you. I'm like, I can't wear that. Hmm? I can't. I just don't want. To. It's heavy. Yeah. yeah. It's big. It smells like a dead guy. We should put it on Xenos. Oh. Don't put it on Xenos. <laughs> Here, wear this. It doesn't shrink to fit. He can't move with it on. Yeah, but we can oh. just roll him like an indestructible ball. Let's use him a full cover, right? It's a tower yeah. shield. Yeah. 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 Wear it. It's a wearable and tower it, shield. And um, it negates his dex bonus, too. His Which is fine. Well, yeah, and it gives him disadvantage on stealth checks. But he looks like so cool. a shield. And we can fastball spe- you can fastball special him. He just starts charging fireball. And oh. I'm hearing Doug scream no. <laughs> like, I know. Wherever he is. Probably. Here's what I can still <laughs> hear it. <laughs> Like the cries of a thousand different ducks all screaming out at once. It's a, it's a thousand different butterflies. <laughs> There's a lot of butterflies. <laughs> no. It fills a 30-foot area. Yeah. So many butterflies. So what would you guys like to do? Uh, do is it still raining? Uh, the rain has lightened a little bit. So what, I mean, it has what been were you doing in, in the island? <laughs> we were... How did you get to the island? Where are the big robot dinosaurs? So, so many questions. <laughs> Eric, what, what Foxfire would know is that Richards was contacted by a, um, a war mage of Cormier. Um, and war mages are like, there's a, if there's, there's platinum dragons, which are knights, um, and then there's war, a war mage academy that is like wizards that are trained in the art of war. Um, and they were contacted by a war mage to investigate some strange rumors about what was happening at this island. Um, and uh, Richards wanted to explore the island fully before leaving. What he said. Uh, while we're doing this, if you guys want to sit down for a spell and maybe use some hit dice of some sort to recover health <laughs> while I play this loot and give us an extra d6 while we do so. You guys, that would be definitely, like that. you guys can definitely take a short rest. All right, cool. 
Now we get Khan back as well, right? Yes. Yes. And again, you can roll. You roll your d6. Good. Do you need more healing? Or are you okay? Well, we'll find out. Okay. <laughs> oh, also, um, this is something that I learned by recently watching Critical Role. Um, you decide how many hit dice you want to spend before rolling them. Yeah, I'm using to take a short rest. So because you can use them throughout the day. You can use them throughout the day, but like if you were like, oh boy, that was a rough battle. I'm down ten hit points, and you roll two. Forty-eight. Yeah, (laughs) forty-eight, and you roll two of them to get ten. I thought you could roll one at a time. No. 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 You choose how many you want to spend in a short rest. Oh. I'm back up to four. I'm good. I'm just gonna use one. Yeah. Because. So, um, <laughs> and again, if anyone uses one. Do you guys want to continue on from here? Yeah, so uh, you know where the river is. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you know where the giant dinosaur robots are? Have you you, seen you have definitely seen other, uh, other creatures. Giant mm-hmm. robot things? I don't know, what did you say? Giant then, yeah, robot dinosaurs. Um, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> you you what? know what a dinosaur is. Why would I know what a dinosaur is? I grew up in the pirate islands. <laughs> well, yeah, but you're um you have heard never read a book? tale of fantastic beasts. That no are large <laughs> large lizards. Journey to the center of the Middle Earth. <laughs> I, thought, I, I was under the impression those are incredibly rare. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I there haven't is a, about it. There is a whole um there is a whole peninsula that is filled with dinosaurs called Chult. That yeah. you, um, that we've we're in the islands so around have, Chult. No, aren't we? not necessarily. Not super no. close? Yeah. Um, but it's, it's common enough. It's common that, enough. Okay. Yeah. See, I thought it was like, if you've, if you've like, been to Chult, you know, but no. Nah, it house. would be like, um, <coughs> it's like <coughs> none of us dragon. have seen a rhinoceros in the wild, but we all know what a rhinoceros is. Yeah, but we also have zoos. In books. They don't in have books. zoos. They have and internet. They don't have zoos here? They would have zoos in large cities. Of course they've got zoos. But in our kingdom, Prince Humber we no, had like zoo. not in, <laughs> Not in this kingdom. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I, well, hold on. We're talking about, about the historical statue? land of Happy Fun Time. It was Happy Fun Time, yeah. No. Yeah, What's totally. Like Does five he know zoos. anything about the giant yeah. statue? The giant wizard statue. Um, no, yeah. he wouldn't know. Any, I mean... It's, I mean, we can see but it. We're not that It makes, yeah. a, it makes like, a good vantage point. You can go study it if you'd like. Well, let's go study not? the statue. The While they're statue. spending their good dice, you can go sure. take a look. Yeah, I'll go out by myself. You're going you're gonna to miss this Don't sweet worry, guys, solo I'm about to bust out. Xenos uh, travels with you. Oh, perfect. So, Xenos, tell me why you want to be a pirate captain. Well, I've always wanted to be a pirate captain. I mean, my dad was a burglar, and he seemed to do pretty well, and... What does burgling have to do with pirating? <laughs> uh, it's, know, it's one's kinda, one's on land, one's it's on the water. Kind of a larger but scale larceny. Pirating's really. a lot more violent than burgling because burgling is not the way I do it. <laughs> you, you're a non-violent pirate. Ooh. I cast firebolt. It's not that. He just says, "Check this out." He casts firebolt at the statue and hits the statue. Look! Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa! Don't do that, Xenos. Oh. We haven't examined what? the statue. Okay. I mean, it's a stat- it could come to life and attack us. That's true. You go. I'll cast. But it's 3D. It's not gonna. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah. Do you wanna do you wanna spin the thing around and put your minis? What? Oh, just his next roll. Oh, he's gonna want to wonder it. Well, potentially. <laughs> I was more thinking like if something happens, it was gonna get rod of wondered because. Yeah. Ah, that makes sense. And we, I, I can't see the screen. Um, you're looking at a tree. <laughs> yeah, can you move the, it? There you go. All right. Dramatically. Right there. Yeah, that's so, that's, that's um, the knee of a statue. So, yeah, you see a statue of a oh, large humanoid wielding a glaive. Oh, okay. you got to be holding back. The glaive. Not quarter. But a glaive. So it's got five <laughs> blades nope, on nope. it. Nope, nope. Different glaive. <laughs> Different glaive. <laughs> That is another movie that there you go. not seen because no, it was Oh, you're you. missing out if you have not watched no. Crawl, my friend. Roll back. Roll back? Yeah. yeah. There you go. There we go. Good? Um, yep. It's really hard to do and you have no idea what's going on. Yeah, so <laughs> you see a large statue with a, a, a character holding a glaive. All right. Um, do you want to make a knowledge religion check? history or a religion? I will definitely make a knowledge religion check because okay. I'm... Proficient in knowledge religion. And, and then that is a proficient in religion. 24. A 24. 
So you would know um, that this is a uh, a powerful figure by the name of Lareth the Beautiful. Oh, this is the guy who's founded this island. <laughs> That's Lareth? Close enough. Lareth. Lareth? I don't know. I read the name. I, I don't. I, it wasn't pronounced oh. for me. Um, and Xenos tries to make a history check and is like, yep, the guy that founded the island. I know all about that because I'm a pirate. You see my jacket? I'm not getting wet at all, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, Statue of Lareth. Uh, can we walk around the base and see if there's like a secret door or anything? Into you can the walk base around the base. The statue? All right. Yeah. Uh, why don't you make Slowly a Slowly walk check. around the base of the statue. Mm -hmm. That is a uh, 22. Okay. Let me double check that. Yeah, 22. Okay. Um, so you do not see a secret door, but you do notice, and it's difficult to see because of all the vines um, mm -hmm. and the weathered time. Yeah. Um, you do see um, a, a inscription that okay. is mostly worn away, uh, and it does say Lareth, um, leader of the um, cult of the um, uh, elemental eye. Elder. Cult, cult of the... Elder of the Elder Elemental, Elemental Eye. Eye. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. And I know that that's the triangle thing. Mm -hmm. The inverted pyramid. Yeah, the triangle. Are, they, are there any jewels on the station? <laughs> <laughs> no, there are no jewels. Um, it, uh, it has long since been plundered of any, um, any jewels or anything like that. Some stones of uh, infinite possibilities. Stones of infinite power. Yeah, yeah, it used to have stones of infinite power, and then they're no, they're no longer. <laughs> Maybe like just one of them. <laughs> In his forehead. <laughs> I'd take one of them. So, yeah, just give me force. There are those glass ones over here. There you go. Oh, yeah, they're, they're uh, yeah. yeah. Colored. Yeah. Yeah. No, Xenos, Xenos has them all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. gathered them up. Yep. Every time he reaches into his pockets, now he's got like a 10% chance to cut his fingers. <laughs> Wait, he's They're guide. smooth. They've been worn oh, over. Okay. over. I, and I, no, I like the idea that there's like a 10% chance that like anything could happen. Well, like all that's the what the universe. control rod does. Yeah. Because 100% is um, if he's not targeting something, yeah. and that means it targets him, he, oh. he becomes greater petrified. Seems fine. Yeah, that seems fine. Whatever. I mean, um, we'll, we'll get so to what it. do you guess want to do now? Morning shot. We'll I'm, figure it out. Yes, we'll hang out. How, what is your attitude towards uh, Foxfire? Well, I mean, Foxfire has survived here on his own for a month. Mm -hmm. what, are, what are you hoping to do? Do you want to stay and live in the jungle? Because we're planning on killing a giant robot dinosaur. <laughs> and then we got, its stuff. And we got a boat and to get off this thing. Getting out of here. Yeah. It's a ship. With the blessing of Umberly. Which is also a boat. I, of no, course. No, you're a sailor. You know not to call it a boat. It's a boat. <laughs> Before I would leave, I would like to know the yeah, fate like of take, my, uh, I'm taking away of my companions. Card. Of course, I know <laughs> the fate of Richards man. now, but I'm still missing I know. still You're missing two of my team. A pirate. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Well, do you know do you know which direction they went? Says the man covered no. in tattoos with well, and insults. Well, the last time you saw them they were at, was the river. at the river. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's go to the river. Okay. So. So, um, the, the river. You show us where the river is. In the so middle you can of the camp night. here over the overnight oh, if yeah. you want, or you could continue on. Well, there's nothing less to kill us in here, right? <clears throat> right. Yeah. Might as well. Might as well. Um, so, Mike, I like uh, stuff. On the map there, the yep. upper left, and the up the hex directly up from the space that you're in. So you're there. There and there, yeah. That, that, those two hexes have the river in them. Okay. So, um, does somebody want to make a survival check? Are you trained in survival? No. Trained in survival? No. no. And yet you've lived and down here. I've, yeah. Lived I've down been the stealthy. Island. Okay. You can take advantage. I'll All give right. you the advantage. So natural twenty-four. Ooh. Natural twenty-four. Okay. So you're able to uh, continue to provide provisions for yourself, um, and. 
continue on. All right. Nice. So you head up to, uh, up to the river. Um, a wide river bro- blocks your travel. Uh, luckily, it has a number of large rocks that dot the river, um, making a dry crossing possible with a few hops and jumps. Um, what Firefox would know? Fox, Fox, Fire. Fire. Fox Fire would know. Well, Firefox would also know because he would just look at it. <laughs> yeah, he'd Google it. Yeah. No, I'd... Um, <laughs> What's the default bing? He he would know that there are frogs, giant frogs that yeah. live in this area, um, and they kind of lie in wait for people to try to cross the river, um, and then attack. Giant them. lying frogs. Giant lion frogs. <laughs> They're living in a van down by the river. Yeah, living in a van down by the river. Lion in wait. Um, oh, yeah. And they really could be, because there could be a wrecked van by the river. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean, it's a steampunk van. But... True. So, Suicide tube, I believe. Is what called. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what you'd know. And you guys were trying to cross the river on the, the uh, little stones. So, a less evolved bullywug? Someone... Think so? Fell in. One of your oh, one of your party no. members fell in. I just I just walk across the river. You walk across the river? Yeah. Uh, okay. Go ahead and make a strength check as soon as you get into the river. <laughs> <laughs> so athletics check. Oh. Uh, this is a strength saving throw. Oh, a strength saving throw. Well, yeah. then I'm going to use that. Because <laughs> I'm not raging right now. Nope. All right. Well, that's 16. Okay. So an, as soon as you step into the river, it plunges down to waist deep. Um, and it you feel the, the current very quickly. It is, um, it is moving quick. Um, and the... the um, the bank of the mm-hmm. river is super slick where you step in. It just goes um, whoop. Yeah. So with a 16, um, you do not get knocked off your feet and start flowing down the river. Um, but uh, you could see that very easily that could happen. Okay. Um, and then go ahead and make a perception check. Actually, everybody can make a perception check. And I'll make one for Zenos. Nine. Eight. 11. <clears throat> 20. 20. Not a good roll. Okay. Uh, <laughs> because you've been here before and you knew where these uh, frogs had hidden in the muddy banks, you can see that the frogs are starting to move a little bit, but they really haven't um, uh, done much. But you can tell where they're How far is the river? Uh, the across? river is... Uh, fifty feet across. Fifty feet. Okay. Do you say that you see the frogs leading light? Mm-hmm. There's, yeah. How smart are these frogs? <coughs> They're just like normal frogs, right? They're frogs. They're big. They're frogs. Yeah. They're very large frogs. They sing. Visago reaches behind in his packet. The rainbow song. Pulls out a conch shell and goes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do the frogs run away? Uh, you know they they might they they need uh, to make a with, save. Yeah, right? save. DC 16. DC 16. Jesus. This thing's awesome. <laughs> so one of them just starts booking it yeah. across the river. I, it's on your side of the bank, and it just goes across the river. And I should I should point out it's a 500-foot radius. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, Xenos is going to shoot the rod at them. Okay. Why wouldn't it? So it yeah. swims. It gets halfway across the river. Yeah. Well, it would dash, so it yeah. would get all the way across the river, and it start, start hopping up the bank. The other one starts. Uh, it is on the far side of the bank, so it doesn't. It doesn't move. Okay. All right. So he's going to target one of the frogs and test. Okay. To use the wand at it. Cause... Okay. Why not use the wand? You wand. know, it has a number of charges per day. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Seven. And right. we've it was the Seven next it was the next day yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it reached well it regains a d6, d6 plus one oh yeah. nice uh, so he casts slow on one of the frogs okay so the frog yeah. that's running away starts slowing down <laughs> it's like <sighs> okay I was hoping for a lightning bolt um having fun <laughs> or does anybody else want to or do a rhinoceros um, charges it <laughs> can I take a look uh, so you said there were stones on the river yep. Uh, could I maybe do a check to see how hard I think it would be to 
go across on that deck. <laughs> yeah, would perception probably be the best? Sure. Thing? Yeah, that'd be probably the best. Uh, that's going to be a sixteen. Um, you would know that the stones don't seem to be very far. Um, uh, apart. they yeah, very far apart. Yeah. Um, but you notice that they are slick from being in the river. Um, mm -hmm. And the really difficult part, the reason that you would actually need to make a check at all, is that um, is that they're slick. Okay. Um, and yeah, that's it. that's what I would give you there. Okay. Would it be an athletics check to try to cross those, or what's the? It's an acrobatics check. Acrobatics. acrobatics yeah. Of course it is. That's a nineteen acrobatics for me to cross. Okay. Um, so you start making your way across. It is fifty feet. How, what, how far can you move in one round? 35. Okay. Um, so if you wanted to double move, you could get all the way across. You'd need to make one more acrobatic check. And same thing, another 19. Okay. So yeah, you see <laughs> uh, Foxfire the Elf just... It's easy, guys. So I'm just going to keep... I'm going to slowly walk my way across okay. using the chicken leg or the chicken tail. Is to kind brace of a, yourself. Wait, is can you spike? hold on to this rope while you well, that's walk what, across? I can do that, yeah. Okay. And then maybe hold on to the rope on the other side and nope. yeah, you can't um, help me. I'm going to go ahead. Okay. okay. Uh, first acrobatics is 20, 21, 22. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Second acrobatics is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, you make it across. Okay. So Oh, just, it's just like walking when you're drunk. I will walk across. Uh, hold on. You need to make two more saving throws. Oh, okay. Two more saving throws. Strength saving throws. So 24. Okay. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on the eight, you start, you, you're moved 60 feet down river. No wow. Way. Am I holding on to the other end of the rope, though? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to pull him to try to stop him from falling away. Make a dexterity saving throw. A dex, not a strength. Because um, I'm holding the rope. Yeah, but this is catching you by surprise. You're, I would assume you're loosely holding the rope, right? Because you want to feed it out to him. Well, yeah. Yeah, because he doesn't want to just get yanked into the river and <laughs> right. get sucked yeah. down. Yeah, nine for my deck saving Okay, throw. so mm -hmm. he is yanked down river, and you catch it. So he doesn't he doesn't go all the way down the river. Okay. Um, it's only 50 feet because you, cut, you catch oh, it before the end of the rope. Good. Um, did such a good job. At least I didn't lose the rope. Uh, and so, yeah, you're seeing, like, just whipping rapids. Uh, you see two more frogs, though. <laughs> Suppose. Yeah. And they start making their way towards you. Okay. It's going to take a while, but... Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to keep going okay. out. Okay. Uh, well, that's the end of your turn. So you two are on the far side of the river. Um, the frogs at this point, <clears throat> the one that is not scared, mm -hmm. just jumps in the river. <laughs> heads down. Um, he's smart enough to know that yeah. he doesn't want to die. Um, the other one is slowly hopping away. <laughs> you should have the sharks then just have them just sit in the river and just eat the frogs as they try to run away. Um, so yeah, but uh, Foxfire, what do you do? Down the river. Um, you know that one of your party members fell into the river, so so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start looking around to see if there's any trace of if he got out of the water. Or well, you know, in one <laughs> round where he's gonna end up. There's no trace on this side. Okay. No. Um, so so that start. you spend your round looking for like footprints and that um, kind of stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, be like, don't don't worry, Sarsarel, I've believe in you to be able to cross this river. You can take a d6 when you eventually try to cross. Okay. All right. Um, and then you um, you hear from the river. Mm -hmm. Do you have a horn of the merfolk? Oh, shit. They're merfolk. <laughs> <laughs> and you see a the uh, upper torso uh -huh. of a, a humanoid. Well, like okay. You say humanoid. Aquan humanoid? Like, yeah. Like a, a merfolk. Yeah. Like a, like a human. Yeah. He look oh, he, like a man. He look like a man. That's yeah. the part I was going, because that's whether Vizaga was like, this is the best horn or not. <laughs> so that's... Well, it's, it's just I mean, it's okay. odd. Uh, Odd's good for Vizaga. Odd. Oh, okay. So it is a human. It is a man. Wow. Not the best horn ever, 
but I'm sure he, oh my god, and Vizago's in there, and this is going to introduce Firefox to Vizago here for a second, he's like, you can totally do shots out of this thing, check it out, well, you type it the right way, and then you blow it and all the frogs scatter. <laughs> Hey, can I have that? No. Oh. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Uh, we're kind of just exploring. I honestly, I, I was kind of wondering whether you would show up. Uh, are there many merfolk here? No, not many. We're looking for robot dinosaurs. I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure that all everyone in a three mile radius will come see you eventually. I mean, I figured it'd be you cool. Blew the horn. I did blew the horn. It's the horn of your people. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I would, I would like that, by the way. I know you would like that. What would you be willing to give me for that? Mm, I don't have a whole lot to trade. It's I can give you very... information about the island. Nah, I can find information pretty easily. <laughs> I'd be a little bit better than that, buddy. I don't know if you saw this thing, but I just found out I could do shots uh, out of this. Shipwreck has finally made it, to, and he's just <laughs> soaked wet. I'm uh, like, Shipwreck, look, there are frogs people. Kind of, uh, froggering their way up the river. <laughs> I throw my chicken... Oh, you hit one. <laughs> it just tumbles. Go and, away. And then the other one's like, eh, it's too much work. Uh, I'm going to intimidate the other one. Okay, go for it. Nice. Yeah, I'll try to anyway. 15. Oh, yeah, you intimidate. Just frog. Frog. Shit. <laughs> Boy, that guy just drew a chicken piece at me. <laughs> Basically, these frogs are poised here for easy prey. Mm. Crossing the river. Yeah. <laughs> like, nope, not easy. Yeah, no. not easy, so never mind. <laughs> that guy just blew uh, culture's sacred relic and then so, talked about uh, doing Jaeger Sarsha. shots out of it. Don't I don't you know. make your way across the. Uh... All right, uh, got this. Well, Zeno's climbs up on your back. I'm holding the other end of the rope. No, and you have a D6 you could use. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. No, he tightrope walks. He oh, yeah. gets a two to try to climb, and then he's like, I elbow him <laughs> off. <laughs> And then, and then he just missteps across. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, missteps yeah. across. <laughs> yeah, he could probably teleport across. Yeah. I'll just walk across, I guess. I don't know. You got this. A... Well, you got a rope. You now have an um, advantage a... on your um, acrobatics check. On the yeah. acrobatics check? Yep. Okay. And you have a D6. Wow. In case one of them goes wrong. So that's a 14. That you're doing fine. Okay. Let's take that 14. That's a good idea. Good one to take. And the next oh yeah! Okay, take that yeah, one. Yeah, all day. Make it all like. So that doesn't go away. You have a D six to use for oh, the rest excellent. of the day if you need to. Perfect. So, so that's an inspiration. Yeah, it's yeah. inspiration. Yeah. So um, you see on the other side, you see that this Bizago's talking to a merfolk. As I do. Aquin, I guess. You know oh hey! You speak Aquin too? I do. Great. Shove somebody, which is where I am. So do I see traces of a person? Getting out of the river down more by me? Uh, why don't you make a perception check? Perception or survival? For this. Yeah. Uh, 16. Okay. Um, you, down at the far side of the bank, you do not see yeah. any footsteps or anything like that. Um, okay. what, are you guys, what are you guys doing? Uh, I'm going to ask the merfolk. I'm like, uh, we're looking for robot dinosaurs. And if you, There's a ton of them. And if you... <coughs> And if you tell me all you know about this island, I'll let you know where we're headed. So that way, when we die, because of course we're going to die, you can come loot this off my body. The problem is, I'm kind of stuck in the river and then out in the sea. So oh. if you guys move away from the river, I'm not going to be able to... Mm. It's not a splash situation, is what no. I'm trying to say. No. Oh. <laughs> That's unfortunate. No. Well, can't you just like pull yourself out with your arms? Um, I need to... Get back to the. I can only stay out of the water so long. I start to dry out. Oh, um, that sucks. Yeah. I ask them if they know, if they've seen anybody. Any bodies? Oh yeah. Any last, bodies come shooting down uh, the river? There's there's a guy trapped in some rocks down. Down at the. You know, kind of where you came from. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna go down and stick my head under the water. Uh, you cannot see anything because it's like whitewater rapids type stuff. But the merfolk oh. does come down, and he's like, "Do you guys? I can get the body out if you want. That'd be awesome, That'd be great. please. Yeah, yeah. Right. How much do you want me to get the body out? <laughs> Not that much. Fine. <laughs> Pulls the so body. Out. What's the deal with you and him? <laughs> he's got a cool horn. Of my yeah. people. What? Yeah." 
Oh, you know, you heard things him up. blow. Oh yeah, 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 but I don't know what it's it's a one of the <laughs> Yeah, no. Yeah. So you pick up some. Why stuff. do you want it back? It's an artifact of my people. Well, don't be a dick. I'm not being a dick. You just didn't offer me anything for it. Make some kind of offer. What? I don't have a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> If it's an artifact of your people, go get more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like the pirate morality of, come on, don't be a dick. And I'm like, I did, I wanted money. And he was like, we'll get money. <laughs> so he pulls out a, a gnome. Yeah. Um, and he brings him up on shore. Oh, no. <laughs> for a split second, I thought the gnome was his offer of payment. But I was like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> that was initially his offer of payment. Um, and any so valuables on this uh, this gnome have have been washed away. Washed away. Um, but you recognize that it is um, one of your adventuring party. Um, it is... Uh, Laughlin. Laughlin. Yeah. Did I know uh, who the Merfolk worship? Yeah, they worship him, really. Okay. That's what I thought. Yeah. So, so like, he'd he recognize me oh, as yeah. a cleric. Of I thought yeah. he was the... When well, you're talking Aquan, he's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know Umberly? <laughs> I'm a favorite. If, really? <laughs> if, well, if you do find an offering that's pleasing to him, you can probably find us on our ship. She actually yeah. sent me to. I mean, island. I'm gonna take this really? with you. I'm pretty much dinosaur. extending this as my yeah, business card cool. to the Merfolk. <laughs> for, I don't know. I, just hope they don't, like, I, I couldn't tell what it was. Our ship trying oh, to get that. A rod of some sort, or a something. rod. I don't know. I mean, if they do, they can. That. Ooh, you know, that like, I have a rod. A rod. <laughs> <laughs> I have it's a rod. Not that. No. Oh. Just use that. He's like, I do. <laughs> and um, strange stuff happens. <laughs> it's a. There was a pole or something. Yeah, you ripped something out of the dinosaur. Yeah. Yeah. Looked like it might be a staff. shaft or something. So staff, right? um, we're getting pretty close to where we'll break. Yep. Okay. Um, I will say that. Um, What's the Merfolk's name? Henry. Henry the Mer- Merfolk. Um, <laughs> because if Bazaga introduces a character, it's got a really, we gotta like, really around. normal name. Um, Craig Henry. So I will say <laughs> that amongst. Uh, Foxfire's Travels, um, there is on the map a section of forest that looks different than the, um, than the jungle on the map. Yeah. Um, and, um, Foxfire has been there. It's actually forest. Oh. Like, not jungle. Weird. Interesting. Um, but we'll go ahead and break for the night. Thank you for joining us. Um, appreciate Leadership. you guys, Cast all that you do. Um, if you have subscribed to us in the past on Twitch using uh, Amazon Prime, um, chances are your subscription is up, and we could really use you to renew your subscription if you if you feel so obliged. Um, other than that, we'll see you again next week for more Dungeon Crawl Madness. Bye.